Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all doing well, and welcome back to Dune Spice Wars. Today we're going to be going back to our roots and playing the Old Baron and uh, having some fun. So let's go ahead and grab our first spice field here and talk about our agents. So we are going to be using uh, Kron. So Kron is very good, basically oppressed villages, build things faster, which is always very nice. And on top of that, you get Solari for killing rebels. So that's super essential to going for like hard chome and playing those very typical uh, hard and play styles, in my opinion. On top of that, we're going to be using Peter. He's a little bit of an uncommon pick from what I've seen from Harkonnen players, but uh, he's very good. Basically, every time you sacrifice an agent, it permanently reduces the cost of that mission by 15%. So if you're going to be doing cell searches, if you're going to be doing um, you know, anything really, like the just supply drops, whatever, you can permanently reduce them and like toxic vapors can get reduced. It's um, very, very good. So I, I like Peter a lot. Um, Fade isn't bad if you want to play like politics a little bit. Um, and the other character is like very good for military as well. But we're going to be doing some scheming and some choming and already off to the gates. We have a very good start here. We have two good regions, our spice and um, red minerals right next to each other is pretty damn good. All right, so let's put you on auto recon here. Uh, players. So we got Shelby on the uh, Vernius. So I would probably consider myself a Vernius main at this point. Vernius and Harkonnen. And if I'm like playing in tournaments and, uh, you know, I want to really sweat, those are the factions I'm going to play. Um, I would say they're not necessarily near the top of the meta, but um, okay, so for this we need to go local dialect studies and instill fear, uh, and I'll explain that combo in a second, why that's so good. All right, so let's get our spice fields, and we'll get one heavy militia. Just throw down a demo right now, so we have a little bit of production, and do we have enough to grab this? We should, 36. Um, but you go and still fear first, because this one allows you to pillage villages, and then you don't take a penalty for like pillaging them, right? And you can capture them later at a 10% discount for every single time you pillage them. So it's really good for Harkonnens for early pillage economies. And um, yeah, it pops off and does some great work for you. So water. All right, so we got the rare minerals here. We got some fuel cells. Uh, Crescent Ridge it gives you water production, which certainly isn't bad. And where are we on the map? It looks like we're hard in the very, very north side. Not a bad spot to be in. All right, so let's grab that. And this is going to be finishing soon. And um, yes, so we got Shelby on the Vernius. We have Space Cow they on uh, the Smugglers. And it's going to be Max Ben Jim on Lato Atreides. So yeah, solid rung of players. They're pretty good usuals from our Discord. They certainly uh, don't mess around. And we've we fostered, we got a pretty good community of players now. It's uh, very sweaty in there, which is great. We got beginners, we got advanced players, we got tournament players. It's uh, it's It's all good. So we will start pillaging once Instill Fear is done. So this is going to be good. So let's get those rare minerals and get that Harkonnen money going. And um, our Spice Harvester should be popping out in just a second. And um, Local Dialect Studies is finished, which is nice. Controlled Villages give you water as well. And once this is finished, we're going to start pillaging. I think I'm going to wait. Although, are we ever going to get this village? Probably not. Um, up here, yeah, let's go see what's over here. So let's deploy you. And let's grab one of our ornithopters and have it fly over here and see. Because I would like to expand this way, getting a maintenance center right here to reduce the cost. Uh, maintenance centers, uh, we do, of course, have access to them right away with Harkonnens. So, okay. So we got one guy there. Definitely need a manpower building. Yeah, this would be potentially... I, f I have a feeling there's like some good stuff in this region, so we're going to go check that out. And Instill Fear is still in the way. Uh, we got 41 authority, so we might be able to grab a third base pretty early. Um, did I grab that free ornithopter? I think I did. I can't remember. All right, let's go get the Plascute right here. And uh, what village, I mean, this village just pretty much shucks. So we can go pillage this one out of the way. Um, and just, you know, I don't want to be standing idle with these units for too long. So we're going to do that. Um, let's go ahead and get a demo here. The reason why we're getting militia is because Harkonnen, you need to have militia in each of your villages. Every militia you give increases the production of that village by 5%. And Harkonnen villages start off at negative 10, if I'm not mistaken. So um, obviously that's a big part of their play, right? All right, so statecraft building production, water production, the harvester is going to be going, looking great. And uh, let's see what we got here in the village. And we're going to get some pillaging going. So you get instill fear and then you get a Rax as butchers, which makes you just do so much work. All right, so let's do some pillaging. Yeah, Rax's as butchers is pretty nuts. Um, you get water, you get damage against militia and rebels, and you gain manpower for each kill on those. So that one is just so, so top tier to brush. It's very good because manpower and Harkonnens are, uh, you know, certainly go together quite well. So let's get water here and um, hang back at the base and still fear is going to be ready. And up here we could actually get a, um, huh, do I want to get a manpower building? Yeah, we got statecraft production here. That wouldn't be bad. Let's get like one knowledge building out of the gates and then we'll get a maintenance center right here. Although, what am I thinking? Yeah, I need to get, I need to get freaking Plascrete, dude. I was like, oh my god. I'm so used to playing Vernius where Plascrete isn't as much of a priority, but for the Harkonnens it, it definitely is. So we'll get him on Arrakis. My dude, my Arrakis. All right, we're going to get it, man. We're going to get it. All right, so Instill Fear is going to pop off, so now we can start pillaging. 
And next we get Araxes Butchers and Survival Training, which is going to give us access to armory options. Um, I haven't really played the the Baron since the update, uh, so I don't really know like what like changes have applied to the military too well, but that's going to be the purpose of today's video is to explore that together. All right, so let's take that down. Looking good here. Uh, we're going to get our H2O. It's what plants crave. And uh, what is the special business in that region? Hopefully it's like Plasteel or something. That'd be very, very nice. All right, let's pillage that. Hey, and it's Plasteel. Look at that. The Dark Lord smile on us. The Baron smiles from his uh, from his chair. All right, so let's get this. Get a maintenance center there next. We'll pillage that. And then soon we'll have Arax's Butchers. Very, very good. Very, very good ability. So, Vernius. You don't want to let Vernius be your neighbor ever. Vernius is the worst neighbor you can possibly have. Um, you can usually beat their militaries pretty easily. Not easily, but using EMP, you can you can do well against them. But, um, yeah, you don't want them as your neighbors. Okay, we need work ethics for that. Hmm. All right, we, we got a little bit of time. Rax's Butchers is very good. All right, so let's go grab this. It's got to be 56, and we have 77. Do have a free Ornithopter over there, and let's go ahead and pause and let Max Ben Jim come back. All right, let's pause for him. Back, crisis averted. Max Ben Jim has survived and he has returned. And, uh, you know, I was like, man, we're going to lose the Atreides. That's like the most flavorful fight for the Harkonnen, right? So I was going to be a little bit sad if we lost uh, lost the, the old Duke there. All right, let's get a heavy militia here. Get you to tie down the range unit and you're going to go grab that free uh, goodies up there. And we do have some decent expansion options. Definitely want to get the fuel cells on the other side. And uh, looking good. Sorry, I was trying to respond to a diplomatic request and froze. That's true. I mean, I could try and get some diplomacy with Vernius uh, to try and get some of the free tech stuff, but I don't know. I don't know about, like, they're very shady. You know what I'm saying? They're very shady, the old Vernius. All right, so Landsrad standing, pillaging. Uh, are we going to win that? 189. Yeah, we actually do have the most. Oh, that's really good for us. That's going to be a ton of money. So I'm just going to pump all my boats into this, and we're going to make a ton of money from this by just pillaging, like, everything we possibly can. All right. The House Harkonnen will rise. We'll grab the Plasteel. We do have the, uh, yeah, we do have the troop inventories, which is going to be good. So we need to start pillaging here in a second. And can we get any more units? I think four is going to be enough out of the gates. And uh, do we want to get a Plasteel building here? Wouldn't be bad for like power building up our empire. Our economy will hurt a little bit out of the gates, but should be okay. So we got the Sandfall here and we're going to get that. Looking good. Let's grab this. And unfortunately, Arrakis' Butchers isn't ready yet. If that, if we had that, with this, it would just be nuts. All right, so we're going to go pillaging and hopefully get some work done. Let's go ahead and reveal a siege here. Uh, revealing sieges with Harkonnen isn't bad because you can get some nice benefits from, um, you know, beating them up, basically. With the, uh, I think we might try that this game. The uh, Savage Cleansing. Because um, you get a ton of authority and, uh, yeah, you get, like, a lot of resources. All right, so let's go pillaging. Um, we'll go get this. And uh, we need to find a second spice field. It's a little bit concerning that I haven't. Um, if Harkonnens are stuck on one spice field, that's really haggard. So we, we definitely don't want that. So let's run you down here and, uh, yep, let's get the pillaging going, man. It should help pay for some goodies. We're going to have really good Plascrete, too. We got it in all of our villages right now. So, yeah, we need to get some heavies in that village, too, and get a manpower building. There's a lot of stuff we need, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot of stuff. All right. So probably manpower. Yeah, we get one building of each type will give us manpower over there. So we're going to try that. Um, and hopefully this is a spice field. Vernius looks to be over that direction. And uh, if Vernius tries to settle on your borders, you have to just push them back. You can't let them have a border territory with you. Otherwise, they get free infiltration cells, which is very, very tough. So look at that. Oh, 655. That's so good and tasty. Yeah, we're just going to go pillage like all this stuff. Maybe grab this while we're at it, because that's pretty nice. Um, and soon, Arax's butchers will be in full effect. All right. Uh, do we get a militia out there? We don't have quite enough. No rebellions yet. Let's go get this. And uh, we still have this. What mission is this? Kill. Okay, this is the one where we just kill things and we get freebies, which is uh, which is very good. All right, so I think I'm going to save and, and wait for a spice field because um, we need to get that second spice field going. Okay, there is a spice field over here. It's 76, so we can get that at the very end of our like pillaging mission here, and uh, we should be fine. All right, let's get a manpower building now. Got to get that. Our plast greed is at 68, and it really will shoot up pretty hard once we get the martial economy, so... Also, we got to do armory upgrades. That's right. All right. So let's pillage that. Uh, it'll be cheaper to come back to later, which is quite nice. And um, let's get a heavy over here. Um, this guy should run out of supplies before he's able to do much. 65 on this. Let's go pillage this. Next, get that and just get as much money as we possibly can. Sell a little bit more spice. And yeah, this guy's going to probably run out of supplies before my militia, uh, you know, end up losing that fight there. All right. So Rax's Butchers is done, which is great. So we're going to get work ethics and martial economy now and rush that. It's a very, very good. Uh, martial economy is the one that lets you oppress villages, but we need the spice field. We can't, we can't mess around here. We need it, precious. We need it. All right, so we're gonna go up here next. Grab this. You should have enough authority to grab it by the time we get there. And um, 
Yeah, man. Good start. And we're going to get work ethics, which will give us manpower and uh, and also uh, the maintenance centers. So that's going to be cool. And now we have this. Okay, that's a little bit of spice, but we got to hustle. Supplies are not short. We're not short right now. Okay, so let's get you. Have you run back? And uh, can we get another unit here? Yeah, he's just going to run back and, and shut this down. Unfortunately, he was able to kill my militia before. And we do have a siege here. Military unit held 10%. That's actually pretty good. We're going to grab that, as a matter of fact. So I thought I was going to be pillaging the siege here today, but that is not the case. So we have an agent. Let's put him on uh, on the old um, Arrakis to get authority so we can continue expanding. Let's go tie you down. And looking good. Uh-oh. We don't want to lose you. Can we, can we micro this a little bit? And we need to shut down the range unit there. Looking fine. He's going to be shut down, and I think we will not lose any units. All right, so armory upgrades. I got to, like, take a look at that. Oh, we do end up losing a guy? No, we don't. Okay. So we'll salvage that base. Let's go ahead and take this. We do have the siege here, which we could pillage at any time. And now let's get the free tech by uh, having our agents investigate there. We haven't really discovered... Okay, Vernius is down here. So we do not want Vernius as a neighbor. Vernius is like that noisy troll neighbor that nobody wants. Uh, we'll get a maintenance center there too. Okay. So our trooper has done it. Now, these are all new to me. I'm not sure how we want to play this. Let's go ahead and get the manpower, the recruitment office... I think that's going to be nice. We need a lot of manpower early for Harkonnens. It also lets us fill up our harvesters, which I think is very, very important. And let's get that. We need a little bit more. So we can just go ahead and build a... Uh, how are we doing on manpower? We're doing pretty good. Because now that we have Arax's Butchers, we're getting manpower for killing stuff. So that's incredibly strong. All right. So let's gear out here. We got a heavy. And um, that's been taken care of here. We need to get some militia. And that's why I'm going for um, hard manpower early on. Okay. So maintenance center is ready. Let's slap that down. It's going to give us quite a bit of money. And uh, we're going to keep butchering and doing just barren, just barren things. Hashtag, yes. Okay, so we take that down. We see Vernius down here. We don't want any piece of them as neighbors. As a matter of fact, we could even get aggressive on them early. We get a free executioner, which is nice from that mission. Uh, he could probably solo this, so let's go solo that. And you guys come back. How are we doing on water? We're at 22. The siege is in development. And... Um, yeah, probably could use a knowledge building at this point. So we're going to slap one down up here uh, because this one we have like some benefits if we have one building of each type. So we need to get a knowledge building there and that'd probably be pretty good. This region wouldn't be bad either. Um, would not be terrible. All right, so let's get that harvester deployed. How are we doing on the spice tax? We're not going to miss it. And good, we got that too. All right, so the space chunk is cozy for now. Um, this is does have the research station. Research stations are quite good. Quite good. Let's go ahead and pillage that. It's going to be 600 Gs. So we need to pillage as much as we possibly can. Uh, let's buy some chome while it's cheap. Man, look at the Atreides going hard in the chome there. Certainly uh, certainly uh, showing me what's up. Uh, that's been pillaged. Do we have enough for a supply drop? We don't. I think I have enough H2O to get out here, though, and take this village down, too. So we're going to go a little bit of ways away from the base. And free military tech right there. We're about to get the manpower building. And... Um, yeah, that's that's very, very good for the Harkonnens. Very, very good. We need to save up some Plasteel for our second uh, Spice Harvester now. All right, so let's bash this down, and we need to go to the Armory. And for the Troopers, what do we want to get? So, uh, in combat, keeps fighting after they die, which is really, really cool. I like that, but it's not super good for, like, clearing things out early, so maybe we get that as their second tech. Uh, heals 30%, and then they lose that health at the end of combat. So let's go ahead and get the Morbid Climax for now, because I don't want any of the stuff that makes them lose health. Um, we need to run back to the base now, though, because we're going to get a little bit too far away, and we can go pillage this. You see how it's 10% cheaper now because of Instill Fear? Really, really nice technology that one is. Uh, let's get a knowledge building, because it'll start triggering these two village passives, so extra intel and extra knowledge. All right. So let's head back up. We got our, our last pillage in there. Uh, we don't really have enough to beat anybody on anything now. We could do the Landsrad loss thing, but I think I'm just going to deny that. So let's go ahead and do this and oppose that with 100. I don't want to go negative Landsrad. Uh, somebody with more votes. Although, do I have the most votes? 149, 157. We're probably going to see this one. Yeah, let's put a support on that for the free lands rad. And call it a day. Ooh, did we actually lose that? Yeah, we did. Okay, so somebody voted that through. I don't know who that was. Uh, man, oh, the Atreides and the Smugglers. Okay, so they basically just put me in the pits. I'm just going to lose influence and... Oh, Chome buying price. That's actually a really big uh, punishment on me. But it's okay. We can just buy our Chome later. It's not the end of the world. All right, so we need to get our villages sauced up now with manpower, so let's do that. And any of villages need to just get the goodies. And I like to go heavies with Harkonnens early because they're um, excellent at fighting off the rebellions, which you're inevitably going to be causing, right? So let's continue pillaging. Uh, we can go ahead and get another heavy out here soon. Let's move up here and kill some villagers. Yes, good. And we might need to make some sort of a political friendship with Vernius. 
uh, just to get the free tech and also to get some lands read back up. I'm gonna see if they want it. Okay, yeah, he wanted it. So I'm gonna get access to the technology he's researched and um, I can see which ones he has. So he's got Chome Integration and Intelligence Network, so that's really big for us. We're gonna get a lot of like freebies. So Vernius has like a tech sharing thing. I'm getting all the Chome stuff and I'm getting Agent Recruit Speed. That's that's pretty top tier, right? Um, and he's getting knowledge out of the deal, so that's, that's how that works. All right, let's get a heavy here or a demo. Pillage this, have you go out there and grab that for the Plasteel. Could reveal another Siege, but um, yeah, we need to get some militia out there. And looking good, all right. So we're in it, Vernie is definitely helping us out quite a bit. Our agent recruit speed is gonna be massively uh, sped up. They haven't done any patents on anything yet, but um, the Baron shouldn't have trouble paying the patents. That's gonna be a little bit more of a tax for factions that don't have as many um, tools like that. So we got the early manpower building, and aside from that, we're gonna need to get the, um, I think we're gonna save the knowledge building for later because you can surprise people since it's retroactive with this one. Um, although it does give you a lot of knowledge, which is very, very nice. All right, so let's go on the Chome for now. Um, we just have to also make sure we don't accept anything from Vernius in terms of the uh, machines, the ones that they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna infiltrate us with, so we don't want any of that. So Plasfield's gonna, Plasgrid's gonna come down here. You see how we can put four on the Harvester now because of the uh, alliance we have with Vernia, so that's pretty sweet. All right, let's get this, and let's get another manpower building there. We need to get the manpower for the chunks. And I'm just going to use him to get above the um, Landsrad penalty, and then from there we go. So he's getting plus 40 right now. You see, everybody allied with Vernius right away to get access to the free technology. So yeah, I'm getting all the Chome and the Spying Logistics stuff, dude. That's so good. That's really, really nice. So heavies, let's go. And Office of the Order should be coming soon. And now we can deploy our Harvester. All right, excellent. And this one has what? Plascrete turns into money? That's pretty good. All right, so let's slap down to Plascrete building. And once we start oppressing all those villages, we should be, ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all, buddy. <laughs> I don't like that he's trying to assassinate me already. Oh God. And I, as a Vernius man myself, I know I know what his intentions are. Uh, Cause why would he set this up without the connector? Oh, he's got the deep desert so we can connect that. So um, yeah, he's gonna be trying to assassinate me hundred percent. So once I get martial economy, I probably need to switch into, I'm not sure. I definitely need more knowledge though. The knowledge situation here is very bleak. All right, uh, Chum buying prices are really high because my lands rat is low, which sucks. Um, we do have two heavies here, two militia here, so they should be able to fight this off. Um, we probably need to start maybe thinking about attacking Vernius early on and pushing them back. Um, we can't have them on our borders. We cannot. Um, it's just it's just not in the books, man. All right, so let's go a little bit of Chum in here. So we're going to go ahead and get the Administrative Hall, and that's a very good early one. We could also go Chum Branch, but I think Administrative Hall at this point is going to be a little bit better. Let's pillage this and then we'll get the fuel cells over here. That's gonna be our next grab. Yeah, we've been kind of banking um, authority for a while. And what patents do we have? Um, Chome integration has a patent, very standard play. Very, very good, I like that. And let's pillage this. And um, we're not out of the, the uh, Landsrad pits yet. We're still in them, unfortunately. So that's giving us good resources. Uh, manpower's looking pretty good. How did our militia lose that, by the way? We had like two militia in there. I guess they just, they just sucked. Yeah, wow. All right, so let's head over there and, and deal with that. And um, we're going to get aggressive early, though, I think. So we'll get the martial economy, and then we can go get recruitment initiative and a lot of early pressure. Um, I do need to get, like, the intel stuff for the Harkonnens. It's very important because you want to have agents to sacrifice. Uh, we also need to get the one that gives us more missions. There's, there's so much stuff I want. I mean, it would be a little while before he tries to assassinate me, for sure. Um, but yeah, there's going to be infiltration cells popping up and uh, that's really powerful for him to be on my border like that. It's really powerful because he gets two free infiltration cells based on the way that my base is set up. So can't I can't have that. That's just, that's just too strong. All right. So we beat those guys down. Let's go grab this. So we beat up some militia. And um, when's the Landsrad coming? We have that. What was the other one? Yeah, Landsrad. And then we'll get it. Okay, we'll get some extra stuff at the start of the next council. Very good. All right, so Office of the Order is finished. So next up, let's go ahead and get the Intelligence Network and Spying Logistics, and then we're gonna get Military and attack him after that. Um, so we're not gonna go into Chome as quickly. Let's get some heavies here to make sure that doesn't happen again. And um, we could get an airfield out here since this one's a little bit far away, but I think just getting a manpower building because the Office of the Order requires quite a bit out of your uh, manpower repertoire. And then we'll grab this and we'll have a nice little um, center there. So we got a tradey. So I just need to focus on trying to deal with Vernius. And I need more agents right now to also um, deal with his, uh, his his and get more agents of my own onto counterintelligence because he's gonna start he's gonna start soon. I think he's gonna try and assassinate me very very quickly. That's what I would do. You know, I, if if I were in his shoes, I would definitely go after the Baron. 
The Baron is, is a greedy sausage. He, know, he must be punished, you know. You, got, you can't just let him sit there and chum. All right, so let's do this. Get some fuel cells. And now we can get the uh, oppression building. So let's do that. Said that. It's such a jovial tone. Let's go ahead and oppress our people. Hell yeah. Let's get excited. That's how the Baron, that's how he does it. All right. So our Plast Greed is at 91, which is pretty good Plast Greed, actually. Um, definitely going to pillage this because he has no way of getting here unless he has the agent that gives him a free airfield. So I suspect we're going to be able to do some good early pressure, but I don't want to show my hand quite yet. The Baron needs to scheme a little bit longer. All right, all right. So manpower stuff's coming along. We're at 54. I need the Landsrad to tick through. So I, that was really troll what they did to me. Take the free military tech. And here comes the Landsrad. My dreaded six knowledge here is, is very, very nice. So he just um, blocked up all the chome stuff, you see, to make me pay for trying to advance in the chome. Which again, you can see how rich I am. It's not a huge deal, but it's still it's still a good call for sure. All right. So that's going to be ours. And we definitely get a knowledge building here ASAP. Um, Diplomatic Congress. I'm going to try and get the military advancement one and try and get some military tech going. Um, I assume Vernius will block that, but I'm going to put all my votes into it, which is 100. And hopefully he doesn't get the diplomatic congress. That'd be pretty troll. But we're gonna we're gonna try and get this. And oh, forgot that one. Okay, so that passes, and um, that was passed as well. So we got faster economy, and so we need to just get intelligence network, and then we go into military here, basically. All right, so let's get this. Get you. Get a knowledge building. And then here we need to get a maintenance center for our next building, and um, let's keep pillaging, and definitely gonna be attacking soon, soonish. It's gotta happen. Um, enhanced questioning is really good too. Oh, and this is insane in the membrane. Let's get the oppression. So we got to start oppressing, and we'll oppress this too. That's going to be a really good one right there. Let's clear that out. And for the demolition militia, um, we probably want to get the armor penetration. Do they have that? Yeah, so heavy loads is probably pretty good here, I think. Just to punch down the uh, durability of the, uh, of the, uh, the dudes we're going to be fighting. So now that we start pillaging villages, we get the uh, we get intel from them, which is great. So we're going to build up a, a nice kind of a repertoire of intel. We can make executioners, and we can make a combat probe. He does take a little something, something. Let's get a maintenance center there to reduce cost that, and um, outstanding. So we got the authority hall. We got quite a bit of money. We can't pillage this one yet. Um, let's go ahead and grab the plascrete with you. Do I go into counter intel yet? We could put one on counter intelligence just to be really careful and like really cagey. It is hard to assassinate the Baron because he can sacrifice agents to discover the infiltration cells very quickly. But yeah, we gotta be we gotta be very cautious. So we're getting all this, and then we can get parallel training too. Although Vernius has hit the recruitment initiative, so they're gonna make us pay for that, but it's fine. We can pay for the patent on that. It's no big deal. Um, he probably is expecting military aggression. I haven't seen Vernius's military yet, but I can't let them set on my borders. It, it just can't happen. Oh, did lose a unit there. Kind of looked like a worm got him for a second, but that was that was very weird. And we'll fine tune our militia and everything when um, when the time is right. All right, let's get this. Um, we will go ahead and pay the Vernius patent, so we're going to get recruitment initiative. And over here, we can get a um, manpower building too. Uh, it is giving us a lot of statecraft stuff though as well. So for missions, we can get the uh, combat drugs, and we can go ahead and get some more gunners. Yes, yes. And is there anything else we could pillage here? It's almost time. Once we get recruitment initiative and probably parallel training, do we really need that? I think that bottom line will be enough to get aggressive on him. And then we can go and get spying logistics after that. I, I, I got to get aggressive. I can't let him do his thing. Can we cancel this even? We're missing resources. We're only getting plus two. Ouch. That's really bad. So what we need to do in the meantime is we need to grab you guys off Chome and go into Landsrad just to get the, um, to get the uh, influence to be able to cancel that non-aggression pact. Looks like, uh, yeah, that's going to be the way that we have to do this. All right, so that is ours. We have 89, and over here, how are we looking? Uh, House Vernius has filed the patent on recruitment initiative. Yeah, we paid that, so we paid the troll toll there. No problems. And uh, now we got another main base building. All right, so we could do barracks. Command post is pretty good. Barracks is nice as well. I mean, so many of these are just so solid, right? And considering we're in early military, I think we just go for the... Um, Let's go for the command post. That's going to give us command points and make our army cheaper. And we're keeping our economy afloat with, um, you know, the early, early aggression here. So let's get the couple Cerberus. They're pretty cool units. And um, a unit is losing supply. He's going to be heading home. Hopefully he makes it. Come on, buddy. The Baron needs you. And uh, Vernius, we should be able to get out of this non-aggression pack soon. How much influence are we rocking? We're rocking 35. Okay, it's coming up. But yeah, we got to go. Like, we can't let him get comfortable. We really, really can't. All right, so let's do this. Slap this down. 
knowledge building and we got the knowledge building here and then we need to get the office of the order up there and over here as well we could also yeah there we got some good building options we definitely do but we're getting a big big early army uh, currently we are at a bit so let's go ahead and get another executioner and we can get a combat probe I don't really know what they do but we're gonna try them out so for the executioners um, Wally is no stacks of bloodthirsty so damage received in melee isn't bad uh okay that's kind of cool yeah it's kind of cool how much HP do they actually have they have 525 troopers got 440 um, we, we have the morbid climax on the troopers and we can do the um, the red fluid. I'm going to try that one out. And this gives them an X. Oh, against flying units. Okay, so it's Bird Slayer and attack speed. And then we can go ahead and do the attack speed thing here. Okay, it's pretty fun. Yeah, all this stuff's very different. Got to figure out how this works, though. Uh, attack speed and uh, they lose. Hopefully they fix that. I know there was like a bit of a weird bug with them. Well, no sack of bloodthirster. He gains that. All right, so that makes them like very tanky in the front. Hibernation breastplate. Oh, that's kind of cool. And then we can give them the, um, you know, we'll make them like our tanks. I think should be fine. All right, let's get a couple gunners. Uh, we need a supply drop as well, but unfortunately we're pretty much all in on the Landsrad right now. So we got 55. So now we can take our agents off of Landsrad, put one on Space and Guild and one on Chome to keep those levels. And we're going to get over here and party. And we need to get an airfield as well. So we're going to do that to ship in reinforcements to him. So when we decide to attack, you know, we can we can do it. He's spying on us right now, so he's he's eyeing us right now. Yeah, he's got his like probes scouting my base. I don't know if it's like intentional, but you know, he's he is watching. And we got a worm call trapping us in the base. So as soon as this finishes, we're gonna break the non-aggression pact and fly over there. So we'll take the permanent 30. Let's sell a little bit more spice. Um we can assign some manpower here. Alright, we have another agent. So I believe we still have one on counter intel, so we're gonna put two on counter intel just to be really, really kind of cheeky here. And uh, yeah, so now we are getting some knowledge buildings. Yes, knowledge, knowledge, and knowledge. Office of the Order is what we need here. And um, we've just run out of water because of a rebellion. Okay, that's not so bad. Uh, we're going to need... I'm going to get some water up here just to make sure we don't run into that issue. Because, you know, if you have bad water, it's pretty hard to be aggressive. And um, Cerberus, we have one in the army. So the Cerberus, we're going to do the... Um, Let's see, attack speed and split into two and chained upon death and it makes them squishier. Yeah, let's try that. And then we can try the attack speed one just to make them like all in. I don't really know what the optimal way to do Harkonnen is yet in the new patch. Gain 10 intel upon death, attacks in melee, ignores half of enemy armor. Okay, that's pretty, oh, that's cool. It actually transforms them. Upon death deals high damage in close range, requires two fuel cells. Ooh, I like that. That's a really cool unit. All right, so let's get some more combat probes. I actually kind of like that. Let's try those bad boys out, man. All right, so we're going to fly them over here, and now we're going to shuttle on over. Let's go ahead and cut ties with Vernius. So we're going to lose the uh, benefits of the friendship with them. Oh, of course it happens right as this happens. I wasn't paying attention. Um, but now oh, we're at a command point deficit now. We need to cancel a couple units. That's right, because we, we were benefiting from Vernius' stuff. Um, military, yeah, we could support this, actually. Oh, no, we need to save. Yeah, we need to save our boats. Okay, so we'll support that. Uh, wow, it literally slows down everything. So what is the only thing going to be? Yeah, so everything is slowed right now. So we're going to finish this, and then we're going to go into local hubs and lay of land and stuff like that. Okay, so let's cancel that. Oh, cancel and cancel. Cancel that. All right, great. So we're fine now, and the chonks are going to go to war. You know, I have to, I have to shoot my shot here. We have to go for it. All right, so the main base building, we can go ahead and get the, um, I don't know what I want to get for the next one. Let's go ahead and get the one that allows us to launch the agent actions. We're going to go see if he wants some. I can't have him up on my borders like this, dude. I just I just can't. It's just such punishment. He's probably going to roll up with an army of sorts, but I have a pretty mean force. It's um, it's certainly no joke. Let's get the barracks. Yeah, we, we're going to clear this out. I can't have you getting those free cells on my border. And we're going to go ahead and take this over for now. And then we will kill the neural network. Uh, let's kill the airfield. I don't think he's going to want to fight me. So I'm going to go down into his base and start pillaging and stuff. Because I, I know how Vernius plays. I can't have him, you know, doing doing too much work against us here. So we're going to take that over. Might as well. It's it's not a bad region. And it's in uh, range of my... Um, has five water. has a research station. Uh, yes, you are trying to set up assassin on me. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> I'm no fool. I know how this goes. I know how this goes. All right. So will we get this? And let's take down the neural chain. I don't think he's... Is he going to come up here? 
I think I could take his army, although he does have some of the resonance drones. And uh, are we at 10k hedge? No, we don't have the heroes yet. Okay, so that's fine. So everything's slowed down right now, including military tech, and we have bullied a lot of this. Um, he's going to run for it. I think I could take him. I don't know, to be honest. I think with the... Yeah, we got scavenger team, so even if it goes badly, that's that's pretty good. All right, so that is going to be going down. And that's going to definitely keep him honest here. So let's gather into the territory. And if he comes to fight us, he comes to fight us. You know, it is what it is. But we're soon going to get triple military, which will give us 20% max health. I don't know how that works exactly, but um, regardless, it should be good. All right. Let's grab this. He wouldn't be able to really push into my lands. Um, what has he got here? He's got... A, ooh, that's a lot of subvoids. We should be able to beat them. Yeah, he's got some fighting mechs and some of the drones here. I do have combat drugs. We need to make sure we don't get lured out of the territory here because we have bad supplies. So we're going to go ahead and do this and start fighting. And uh, yeah, let's get that going. And scavenger teams, the demo militia can shoot this guy. And let's get some of you guys going on the rail guns. Rail guns, yeah, we're a little bit low in supplies. It's a little bit dodgy, but it is what it is. Let's get you guys back onto the pillage. And the railgun drones are getting beaten down. Great, so we got that. Let's uh, rally some troops over there. So let's get you guys. There's baseline troopers. And yeah, that's a pretty standard fare for Vernius early armies, for sure. Let's get back onto the site. And we just smashed him pretty good. I mean, I'm pretty invested in military, so I'd be surprised if I lost that. But um, yeah, we just keep chasing. And oh, the Cerebrus is going deep on that guy. Wow, look at the Cerebrus. Almost got that fight engineer. All right, so that's going to be ours, which is awesome. And uh, I guess I could have left some of the buildings. But let's get the uh, building here. Let's get some of these. And dude, the Baron. Yeah, look at him going. And we're about to get even more military tech, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm usually pretty bad about early military. He says Touche Arconan. <laughs> yeah, good. Yes. All right. So do we have any sacrifice agents to set up? We don't. Um, we're on the counter intel. I could go continue to bully him probably. So I'm going to heal up a little bit. And then we'll probably go and attack him here soon. You got the barracks. Um, we do not have the uh, parallel training and whatnot. Everything is slow right now, which shocks. So yeah, that's that's pretty troll. You see all the all the nice technologies that he had. You know, they're all they're all gone. All right, let's get the intelligence agency here so we can launch more. <laughs> he said the wet lands are out. Uh, he's tell the lands are out. I gave him a wedgie. Oh, that's really funny. We got such cool people in our community, man. Yeah, it's it's a it's a great little scene. We got a lot of lot of fun people. All right, so we're gonna go give him another wedgie. I think, because, uh, yeah, why not? So the siege is friendly, which is really good. So let's get you into the siege, because this siege gives us 10% um, unit health. On top of the 20 we have, like, our units are going to be very tanky. And we should be able to crush the, um, the army. That was, you know, he wasn't tethered when he fought me, I don't think, um, on some of his units. So he's he, he probably was suffering a little bit there, for sure. Definitely feels good to be go back to the chunk, though. He's, he's very fun to play. Let's get the intel. Um, I don't have any cool intel stuff here. Um, I definitely need to grab some of these around the base. All right, we'll have to do that soon. Let's get the oppression going here. That's going to be really nice. That's a lot of money and extra plastic we're going to be getting. And once we get a full army again, we can roll down and, uh, and roll and roll in and straight up attack here, right? All right, let's get another heavy here. Uh, we don't have any ornithopters assigned to those guys. Probably a bit of a blunder on my part. And uh, yeah, we got a special region, which is great. We're almost at 10k hedge. At 10k, what does the chomp get? I forget. Yeah, we get, um, yeah, sacrifice agents, and then we get additional um, agent slots, which is really nice. All right. Let's have you grab this and this. And in the meantime, we just kind of chill out. And um, what does this region do? We get money from Plascrete, which is good. So we'll do that to make sure we take advantage of that. And we have 100 Plascrete plus. We definitely need to get oppression going on this far side. The Atreides have not expanded near us, and we're going to go get another special region from them. But we need to make sure we have supply drops. And, uh, you know, those type of things. So is this going to give us intel here? It will when it finishes. I know we're researching something over here. We have a couple things. Because my water isn't very good, so getting to him would be very, very hard. We have water here. Do we have water here? We do not. So let's get some H2O. We need to make sure to do that. And let's get some heavies here. Or some demos is fine. And we're going to go down and give him another wedgie, as he said. I think that's going to be the play. So we have executioners. We definitely need more melee. Let's get some troopers. I actually like the early troopers. I feel like they're pretty nice. All right, so we got intel, so we got supply drop now, and we can do combat drugs soon. Uh, let's research the free technology over here. Yeah, no no way he's setting up on my borders. So we did get those, which is cute. Um, we're going to have a big old army here soon, and our water is soon going to be picking up because we can build that. And we got oppression going, so even though we're not like into the chome yet, we will be soon. So we get local hubs. 
Um, savage cleansing is pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Allied unit using supply. So let's get back here, take the plasteel, and then build it up. Main base building. We got the uh, intelligence agency now. So we should be able to get agents really, really quickly. Harkonnens, especially with Peter DeVries, are very, very good at that. All right, so I have like no political influence whatsoever. I'm hoping the smugglers and the Atreides are going to duke it out on the bottom. So I'm going to go and attack the Vernius right now. Um, I do need a little bit more. Yeah, because we need to take advantage of the fact that we have that like sweet military. You know, it, it needs to be done. All right. Uh, free votes. Okay. So we're going to actually deny this because maybe Vernius will want those units when I attack them. So we're going to oppose that. It is dear to the minor houses, though, so it's likely to pass. Uh, and I could use a little Landsrad, but it is what it is. Uh, did it go? It did. Okay, well, I mean, on the bright side, I get them too, you know, but i just rather he have less assets, really. All right, so that's done. So now we need to go and get the um, Ecotech, probably. Let's go into the Eco and pay the patents and pay the patents, yeah, because we're going to go down there and pay those. Uh, so we need to get into Eco now, too. Um, there is another Spice Field here, so I'm going to take that right now. Um, it is 206 Authority. So we can do that later, but let's take our big goon squad and go down. And this is like a scary, scary army, boys. It is it is pretty thick. Um, okay, we just actually got more water, so we need to make sure we take advantage of that. So what do we got here? This is going to be um, H2O. Yeah, because we're back up to 17 water, which is nice. We have 177 authority. We could go ahead and oppress here too, which I think is good. So let's get that. All right, excellent. So the Office of the Oppression is on the way. We're not choming yet. We're doing like early military baron. Oh, this is like the worst region to take, by the way. So we're going to go for his fuel cell. And uh, I think we're just going to take this first. And that just gives us a nasty point with which to launch off and attack him. And we have his drone here. We're going to try and kill that real quick if he's not paying attention. And then we take that region. Yeah, because we can't we can't just be, you know, chilling, friendly neighbors. We got to be the evil baron here. All right, so he's going to have to react pretty quickly. This is a shit ton of DPS here. So we're going to go ahead and pile in and beat that bad boy down. So his drone is going to get back up in the sky and start flying, and he's going to miss it. And is it going to get away? No, nope, doesn't get away. All right. So we're going to take this and get the spice field. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the supply drop preemptively just to make sure I don't run out. And um, we're going to grab the spice field here. Yeah, Vernius has a god-awful economy. The only problem is this gives him free infiltration cells, but we're going to soon have enough for this. And um, I need to get some, like, intel stuff, right? So let's get you guys... Yeah, we got Shome, we got Space and Guild. Harkonnen bullying you again. Your, your cries for mercy will go unheard, I should say. That would be pretty pretty in flavor for the Baron, I would say. All right, let's take that. And then we can set up a missile turret. And um, that's the one thing that's really nice about the Atreides is they can do that like really, really fast. All right, we're going to put one on Vernius as well, just to kind of soup on them and get some information and also get a little bit more intel. And this will let us build the intel building on his border. And from here, we can go cut off his network. He does already have the tech where he has the free robot defenders, which is very, very strong. I like that a lot. Um, we could pillage this for a little bit of intel, so maybe we pillage these two in the meantime. And um, this is going to give us another spice field in due time. Yeah, we got to push him back, though. We got to push him back. All right, so let's get all the heavies here to make it a little bit, you know, unappealing to attack. Um, we can go ahead and get a turret here. Yeah, we can get a turret like, uh, yeah, a deep set turrets are good because they do allow you to kind of do some shenanigans on the borders. So let's go up here to get a little bit more intel first. And um, we got the heavy militia coming out too. So the Atreides and the smugglers are having some fun on the borders with one another. Uh, my chum is going to pick up now, now that I'm going to get the, the hardcore chum support stuff. I can always chum later on. You know, there's not like an expiration date on it, but Vernius, I know their weaknesses and I know their strengths. So I want to take advantage of that and really try and give them the dirty. Oh, was I relying on his technology for the double tech? I think I was. Yeah, that's, that's very fun. So we'll get Chom integration, and then we're going to go into parallel training as well and jump into that. Uh, main base, we have some options, but I don't think anything here is super appealing. Um, water isn't bad, but we're not doing badly on water. So let's go ahead and get the um, the money in fully built villages and the Plascrete. We can switch it out later, you know, when the time comes. Then we can get a military base here. Does he already have one? If we hit this and are able to really bully that, that's going to be very nasty for him. Um, all right, so let's get that. And then we can get the... We don't have any more. Let's uh, get our supplies back. We got a missile turret coming down, which is going to make it nice and secure for us. Let's take the free technology over here. This is like the poorest Baron play I've ever had. I'm just like so poor right now, which is weird. I'm so used to playing greedy Baron that this is um, certainly something that's uh, quite different. All right, so that base is fully built out need to get a switch up here so probably what we do is we cut this and we get the uh the experimental factory there that building is really good 
And it's going to hit this region, this region, this region, and this region, which is just so, so good on the value train. All right. So, yeah. Cursed Storms slowing us down. Um, I need the combat drugs. It's really good. Attacks, yeah, it's so good. It makes your units just sauced. Attacking this region is going to be hard. He does have a military base, so I should probably get one before I attack him to equalize the score. I would assume now he's probably, like, panic building military. Um, you know, I would. that would be my guess. Okay, so the storm is going to wear off soon. And we're going to just try and fight. The Harkonnens can definitely throw away armies. Okay, so why are we taking some L's? Okay, the rebellion up there. And then we want to get an airfield here, although military base would be good. This is a spice region too, though. So maybe we just get this, and then we can get the... Um... Yeah, I need to attack. So we're going to go pillage this region. That'll give us 50 intel. Um, we're going to get the big income boost right here. And we're about to get the Chome integration, which will let us get the fully built Chome district. And with three Spice Harvesters, we're going to be doing pretty good. Because he's probably down to one. Yeah, he's got two right now. Okay. So he's down to two, which is still you know, decent. Vernius is very poor, though. Hark's taking another special region near my wane. Yes, beware it. Fear it. Atreides and Smugs are the same as me. <laughs> I have to counter his politics. Yeah, I have to counter his politics. Yes, he's he's definitely losing ground here, and he's 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 clutching he's clutching at uh, whatever he can get, which I respect. All right. <laughs> he says, Shh. "I love that. That's really funny." Um, we might want to do scavenger teams instead too, but scavenger teams is what one hundred. Um, all right, so we're gonna get parallel training, which will give us the military academy, and we're gonna come down and just bully this village. He's probably going to need a worm call if he's going to want any luck here. Um, no military base, so he will have a slight power advantage. But I'm hoping that, um, you know, we'll be okay. So let's get our harvesters here, harvesters here, and fly out this way. And then we need to deploy you. So let's get you deployed. And we're going to just bully this village here. Here he comes. He's coming to fight. I don't know what his army looks like. It could be mostly subvoids. But we're going to we're gonna try and take this fight here. All right. So let's have you guys fight. Do this. Good. Uh, I don't know how this is going to go. Let's get the supply drop. Yeah, oh, he's got a lot of subvoids in his army, so let's grab a couple of you guys. Go for this, and um, the Chonk is going to just do damage, because he can't replenish his armies as easily as I can. So we're trying to get onto as many range units as possible here. All right, so that's another one. That's going to be a subvoid soldier going down, which he can replenish pretty easily. Um, I think we run with our flyers now, so gear regulations is going to get voted on me, probably. Um, so I'm going to have to pull back and play defensively. Uh, okay, smugglers. Ooh, yeah, that's money for us. Hell yeah, let's go. All right, so smugglers we're going to vote on. Yeah, to try and get a little bit of dough here. I'm going to get gear regs, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Let's get our rally point here, get a couple executioners, and then we need to get... Um, who do we want to get? So, hmm. Let's go ahead and go with Glossy Raven, I think. Yeah, I think he's going to be fun. All right, so we're going to peace out with these guys if we can, see if we can run, but I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, the worm actually coming in the clutch, because if he chases me, he might get eaten, and I, I still have a chance of getting away, which is nice. All right, so we did some damage, not too much. It was definitely a better fight for him. You know, he came out cackling there, and uh, we're just going to go ahead and get this. We have a couple assassins now, which we can use to pick things off. Oh, we could get that fight engineer. Let's see if we can grab that. Yeah, fight engineers are pretty expensive, so we're going to try and take that bad boy down. Now we need to get the Chome, Chome Branch, for sure, and um, another agent on, um, yeah, we could just do Chome for now. We have the Siege, which is great. We're going to get that Fight Engineer. He might come back and try, but we do pick off the Fight Engineer, which is nice. And let's get you guys going. Does he have another one? He does. All right, so let's get this Assassin going on that Fight Engineer, and then we just laugh all the way to the bank. So he's actually going to counterattack me, which I do think is a bit of a mistake. Uh, geothermal Condensers, is that any use? I don't think so. All right, so we're going to fight here, and we're going to have, like, reinforcements getting here pretty quickly. And now we can gl get Glossy Raven, too. Or Robin, however the hell you say his name. Okay, he immediately realizes that wasn't a great idea. Just like I did when I attacked him. And uh, we're going to just pile in this way. Robin has appeared! The Beast! And uh, the Beast is here, yes. Yeah, so we're going to keep hunting what we can here. Were you assassinating my engineers? <laughs> Maybe. All right, so we're going to get that railgun drone, and um, he's going to run probably all the way to his base, I would imagine. But we're going to pick off whatever we can. And uh, Robin is going hard in the paint. Uh, we don't want to lose Robin. We can afford to lose some of the other ones. Yes. <laughs> uh, the rebels seem to be in check for the most part. And um, yeah, we're all right, man. So we have a brainwashed agent. So let's go ahead and sacrifice the brainwashed agent for... Um, we can do it for the... Uh, what's it called? Uh, supply drop? Yeah, it's nice. That'll permanently make that one cheaper, which is pretty much one that you're always doing. Very. 
All right, so why am I getting geothermal condensers? It's probably not even worth it, but at this point, why not? All right, let's get these guys, and um, we can cancel this, and let's get crew training program. I think we're deep enough in the military that we can kind of bully him a little bit, but I could be wrong. All right, so we got one, two, and three. Vernius is definitely being kept in check, which I like. Let's get a maintenance center here. Uh, that's been dealt with on the far side. Yeah, now that we have Glossy Raven, we can, um, or Robin, however the hell. Oh, he automatically gives it now. That's really nice. I love that. All right, so what special buildings do we want to build? Is there anything else we want to build here? Nothing. I mean, it is kind of worth impressing up here, actually. We do have some good money in this region. Um, we could get the Space and Guild and just start trading influence. Um, hmm, Space and Guild is cute. I think the Research Center, yeah, we don't have too many fuel cells, so we wouldn't even be able to really build the ship. So we're just going to oppress this region to make even more money. And um, yeah, we can go attack this. He has pretty good militias, but I feel like he's not going to be able to rebuild as quickly as we are. So let's make some troopers. Because the troopers have that morbid climax thing, which is pretty rad. And what do we need to get? Adrenaline addiction to get the final upgrade? Yeah, so crew training and then adrenaline addiction. Um, our eco is popping off a little bit better now. We're certainly not Chome Overlords, but it's very fun to switch it up and play aggressive. So Robin gives combat drugs to range units. That's what he does, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so let's go ahead and get military here too. So we're going to get the training slots, and then we can even get the uh, fusion plant eventually. And we can expand and grab more territory now. I'm trying to think what we want to grab. Uh, we got plenty of options out here. The Great Volcano is pretty good. So we could actually shuttle over there. would like to get an airfield there. We don't have one, so we can cut the Plasteel since we're pretty good on Plasteel. And we can go ahead and build an airfield here, and we can use that and shuttle over and grab the Great Volcano. But he's going to try and assassinate me, so that's why I need to keep some agents in counter intel. Uh, if I were in his position, I would just be having a hard-on to assassinate, right? That's like what I would be scheming. So I would imagine he's doing something similar. Let's go ahead and get the um, the Cerberus. Yeah, we're going to get some Cerberus and one drone. And the Rebels are being bashed. Glossy Robin, the Beast is here. Um, these will be available to take eventually. And he's trying to expand down there, it looks like. Is that his actual army? No, these are the Militia. Okay, he's just being raided on the other side. This is a region I would like to raid, but it's the Acid Lakes, which is the most annoying region of the game to attack. You lose 10% health per day. So attacking the one near his main base does seem like a slightly better idea, but yeah, I mean, nothing feels great in that regard, that's for sure. All right. So he does have the military base here. Uh, Robin is here. We've got the crew training program coming in, which will kick off our spice uh, gathering. And we do have three spice fields, which is, I would say, pretty awesome. We can get the Space and Guild branch there. I think we're going to need it eventually. Uh, let's get Robin in control group two. Yes, my lord. Dude, love it. The Harkonnen aesthetic in this game is so cool. I mean, the villains always like kind of look the coolest in most in most settings, you know. Um, how are we looking back here? Yeah, should be under control. So we got the Cerberus. We got the combat drugs. Uh, we need to get an interrogation center. So we need to get enhanced questioning because uh, the interrogation center is like a top tier top tier uh, Harkonnen one because we're not even really taking advantage of the missions right now so maybe we cut adrenaline addiction and we get enhanced questioning next and Robin is going to come down and we're going to do we're going to do some pillaging does he have an airfield here he does not 10% health per day is just unacceptable though but this is so hard because it's like in his main base we could do a little bit of a raid into his spice fields here but I think we're just going to pour down here I would wager he's just sitting at his main base so Glossu is going to lead the charge Hopefully it goes better for him than it did in the movies. Ooh, next building in Carthag is free is really nice. All right, so we're going to take this village down. Robin's going to give his combat drugs to the boys um, when the fighting actually starts. And we can cut down the neural divider too. So let's actually take that down because that's going to disconnect his neural node and that's going to hurt his pro productivity in his other region. So I think if we just do that, it's like a worthwhile raid, right? A couple Cerberus boys going to go down, but it's, it's all good in the neighborhood. Losing them isn't a huge deal. All right, let's do this and take these guys down. Someone help me, I'm just a little guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what they say. All right, so next building is free. Definitely want to get the interrogation center, but the fuel cells could also be very, very good, so we're going to grab that. And looking nice, so let's cut this down, and let's, uh, let's go ahead and liberate this. We could just pillage it too, but we're going to destroy whatever we can and then just run when he appears, because I would imagine he might be struggling to remake armies, I'm not sure. But that's going to disconnect his neural network, so uh, yeah, I, I know the weaknesses of this faction. <laughs> I know what they don't like. Didn't need to use Robin's ability here, but we're going to just try and liberate this and or, you know what, let's do this and then just pillage it. Yeah, that's going to be better for us, I think, because we're not going to have enough time to do that. And, um, all right. 
So is there a smugglers if they get that? Okay, so that is gonna be some money for us. The Baron is gonna be greedy. Um, yeah, Vernius is not looking good on boats either, but my political play here is basically non-existent. That damn main base is just giving it to us, unfortunately. So yeah, so his production here sucks now too, right? It's, it's just not good. Let's get some executioners and some uh, troopers. Looking great. The troopers fighting beyond death is so good. Wow, minor houses, who do they vote for? Do they vote for, they didn't vote for me, obviously. So he's gonna, I mean, Vernius is, he's gotta be suffering right now pretty hard. Um, Robin needs to get out of here now. All right, so let's peace out. Have we gotten the pillage off? We haven't, so we're just gonna run. <laughs> the the classic brave Harkonnens. But we're gonna have a lot of reinforcements coming back in and we do have the militia. Oh shit, we're getting like raided right now though. That's pretty bad actually. All right, so let's get you guys to appear back here. Come on, Robin, uh, be free. Sacrifice a gunner. We don't want to lose our lord, right? That would be unfortunate. Okay, so we got the militia coming. I don't know if we can win this. When the big reinforcement wave arrives, maybe. So let's just kind of keep piecing out. We're healing in our territory. Robin is going to flee. We'll try and take down that subway soldier, but let's just like kind of get some distance here. And uh, yeah, just peace out. If he wants to keep chasing, he will lose some supply, and we're about to get a huge wave of reinforcements. So let's go after these guys. Yeah, get the fight engineers. And here they come. So here comes the troopers, baby. The beast. All right, let's go ahead and give them the, the buff here. So now we got the beast there. And let's get executioners, a couple Cerberus. And maybe they'll make it in time. I'm not sure. Yeah, he's learning the might of Vernius armies. Vernius armies are very haggard at times. They're very haggard. So he's learning the hard way. He's going to lose another really expensive army to uh, my Harkonnen force. Harkonnen military is pretty respectable for sure. Uh, all right. Oh, is that his lord there? I think it is. I'm going to kill his. I'm going to kill his hero. That's unfortunate for him. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. Oh no. Okay, we're good. Oh my god, that was that was an early lag. That was weird. I haven't seen that before. All right, so we got a goal. He's gonna have to get a goal out of his lord now. And uh, let's get another building here. We can start buying some chom again. So let's try and chom it a little bit. And uh, or we could just play conquest baron. You know, like aggro baron. Yeah, he's rebuilding his militia. Um, but we can like replenish our armies way quicker than him. I think. Yeah, way quicker. We're about to get an armor buff too. Hmm, do we want to buy a little bit of chum over there? Oh, the Great Volcano got taken. So I guess we just, like, shuttle over here, take this, this region here. And um, we need to get the Interrogation Center. Not a vendetta, bro. I went early mill. I need to do something. <laughs> the Atreides can keep him honest. He's, he's trying, to, trying to get mercy out of me here. We almost landed in the mouth of a worm. Let's make sure Glossu doesn't get eaten. And uh, interrogation center. All right, let's pillage that. Get a little bit of intel, and um, we can do scavenger teams. And um, in the meantime, we're really that short on manpower. I guess we need more manpower buildings, don't we? All right, so let's get another one here. All righty, looking good. So we got the pillage off, and um, we do have 337. Okay. So let's go down here and grab this. He's trying to trying to you know appeal to my uh, my rational senses, but I think the Atreides can keep the smugglers honest. Space cow, how are they doing? Three point four k. I don't see them booming. He ain't booming. He's he's poor. All right. He does have a little bit of chum though, but I'm gonna start buying into chum and making it harder for them. So that's that's the game plan. Uh, all right, so we got enhanced questioning, and um, don't really care to do the assassin stuff. So let's go ahead and get adrenaline addiction and just go for the karate chop. All right, so we grab this. Um, we're gonna need to get a new maintenance center. Then we take that. We do have our spacing guild, right? I think we built that. Yeah, we did. And then this, we can go ahead and get um, another power building here. Okay, looking fine. And um, we're feasting. Yeah. He's pleading for help, but we're, we're testing the limits of uh, what we can do in terms of damage. Where did I build that building, dude? I can't remember. We gotta start using all our Plascrete as well. Uh, let's get more knowledge here. Looking good. The Chonk is looking nice. Let's get the Interrogation Center. So that's when we really, really pop off. Let's get the Heavies here. And what do we got? We got um, Intel per Statecraft building. Okay, so probably an airfield down here first and foremost, just so we have some mobility around the map. And then we can get the Renegade base. Yeah, we'll get the Renegade base here in a minute. All right, so we got, um, yeah, manpower's hurting. We need to get more. We see that. We got this. Yeah, we've we bullied him pretty well. 
I would say. Um, water is currently being threatened here a little bit. We need to get all these fully built villages, by the way. That's really, really important because that gives us a lot. Oh, that's getting pillaged by some, some dudes up there. I didn't notice that. Okay. That's where our spacing guild is. Um, we can give a little bit of this for the ship parts. And then we need to intercept those guys. I don't know. Maybe I didn't have militia built out there or something. I'm not sure. Okay. I can't let him just take this for free. That's going to be contested for sure. Are we at peace with him? Do we have a way of getting rid of it? Yes. Okay, Raven and his small vanguard force are going to try and do something here. But if we can punish the smugglers here... Yeah, he escaped. And then we can we can take the loot afterwards. That's actually really good. That's very good. Alright. Let's do that. Let's get some Cerberus. And uh, we're probably going to lose this fight, honestly. We don't have that much stuff, but... Uh, yeah, with the worm call there. Oh, I can't control them, can I? Okay, let's get in. Start bashing them up close. Uh, he's going to start setting up assassinations on me for sure. I would if I were him. And um, cool. So we're trading. We're losing influence. But it looks like the Renegade base is going to be ours. So that's going to give us all the ship parts. We can't let the smugglers just have that, you know. All right. So that's the last guy. Robin is still alive. This is the one of the longest I've seen him live. He usually gets karate chopped, you know. Usually there's some, some ugliness going down. Let's get some more water here. We're going to take that. And then we can grab the region as well. Yeah, now that we are going to have the interrogation center, we should be popping off. We should be popping off. All right. Uh, do we want to grab this? Can we? Yeah, we're, we're fine. We can get this region. Is going to be touching the tips with the smugglers. Um, looking at Vernius, he's got a little bit of money. Oh my god, really? We're just like getting swarmed by these freaking dudes. The whole Harkonnen army is just going to die here. Yeah, I need to get that manpower max out again. Yeah, and we're going to take this region too. That's a really nice one. Thankfully, Robin is able to help defeat these guys. And we're going to have our mothership soon. So, yeah, we're literally at, like, negative influence right now. Um, I would love to get foreign recruitment. That would be really nice. So I'm going to put my 100 votes in that and see what I can work. Um, all right. So we're doing it. So, yeah, we're all kind of hanging out. Atreides is going to hopefully keep him honest. How goes it with smugs? Trying to trying to politic here a little bit. And it looks like there's no special bounty. So I'm just going to try and get this with my free votes. Then we need to get back to this and focus. So let's get you, 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 and you. Looking good. And uh, all right, man. Yeah, no complaints. Life's good. We got our nice little base over here. And we can go and attack at any time. Uh, the Baron is cackling. Let's do this and this. Yeah, I love playing Harkonnens, man. They're so fun. Robin seems pretty good, too. Uncontrollable opponents at long range become as thralls and they get power and armor. Yeah, so it makes my gunner stronger. Oh, shit. Okay. I love how the AI is like fleeing. They're like, flee the city. Any raids? Looks like the militia. Yeah, Robin gives you that extra militia slot, which is very good. 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 All right. So down here, we got the rare minerals. Let's do this. Then we can go ahead and grab some H2O here, too. And these rebellions, they they temporarily put your water in the pits. That's what they do. Yeah, they have they have a lot of they get their jollies off with that. We'll get more water here as well. And um, the Baron is going to be squeaking up this way. Rally point can be right here. We're definitely going to go attack Vernius again. Um, I I think we need to, because if we could just keep him like bullied, then I think yeah, one intel per statecraft building. So let's grab this. And we can grab the research hub somewhere. We have scientists down here too, so it'd be kind of foolish not to get that. Although for now, let's go ahead and cancel this and get the maintenance center. Yeah. And then we, where can we get the research hubs? Yeah, it's going to be water there. We have 179. Could take this and just make this one of our, you know, kind of regions to build some chaff buildings in, as I like to say. All right. So the boys are going to head up. Army's okay now. My manpower is not great. Let's take the free technology. Definitely have some stuff I should be grabbing. And um, we can do this. Do we want to earn some trust? The C tier is really good. I don't think we want to pillage that one. And let's just grab the space. Yeah, we're at 14k right now. Like, we're very much in the running in terms of hedge and whatnot. So as long as we just keep Vernius down, I think we're okay. That's going to be the play. And just force him to deal with us. Uh, all right, so we got troopers. We need some range units. We need some gunners right now. Yeah, we need gunners. We're going to get some old manpower, though. So, yeah, we need to get a manpower building here. Uh, missile turret 2 would be good. Listening posts are okay, but we're really not playing politics at all. Let's go ahead and buy a little bit more chum to make it harder for these guys. And let's take this, and we'll set up our special buildings there. We might as well build as many of those as we can. Um, do we have militia here? We don't. 
That's been dealt with. We have a little bit of authority here. Let's grab that so nobody can get that. And um, yeah, we're at 137. And here we can get embassy. We, we're we're going to get research center now, I think. That's going to that's gonna jump us up and hedge, though. It's the only problem. But I think the knowledge boost is going to be worth it. I don't know. I could be wrong. That's a very, very sneaky play to do, though. It's very sneaky. All right. But I think it's worth. Okay, so let's get this. And we can get the research station here. Get some heavies in there. All right. So we're going to have a really good research now. Let's go ahead and rally over here. And the Baron is ready. We now have Adrenaline Addiction, so we're going to be pretty bonkers. Uh, from here, let's get countermeasures to make sure we have an expert agent on um, counter intel. I think that's going to be the play. All right, let's fly over here. We have um, we have Worm Call. It's not that useful. We could do scavenger teams. And we have the combat drugs. And now we can do our second armory upgrades. That's right. So we're going to go ahead and get the... Um, yeah, we're going to get the red fluid. And we're going to go ahead and get the... Yeah, we're going to get the attack speed upgrade. I think the attack speed upgrade is going to be really just strong. We have the split, so attack speed, intel upon death. We're going to get the high damage DPS there. And then for you guys, we're going to go ahead and get the um, the tankiness. Yeah, we're going to make you guys tanks, basically. Let's get some combat probes. I like the idea of having a couple of those guys doing like big AoE damage when they die. I think that's very smooth. So yeah, we're about to jump up pretty hard on, um, on this. Although the smugglers are still ahead of us, which is nice. So at least that's how that's going. And we need to get a maintenance center here, which we already got. So let's get the knowledge building. We're not going to have like Vernius level knowledge, but it should be pretty decent. And we'll get a knowledge building here too. Um, I kind of want to get the intel building. Yeah, the intel building is really nice. All right, let's get a missile turret in case there's raids. Oh, we have a siege over here. We can actually annihilate that siege. The Baron is licking his chops. Let's get some troopers, just some cheap chaff. Um, and yeah. Should be good, and then we attack Vernius again. We can take their authority out from under them so they don't get that. And um, yeah, we're gonna jump up here pretty hog wild. Choman, let's buy a little bit of Chom. Um, it's making it more expensive for these guys. And you know, the Baron is pretty wealthy, so I, I'm making a lot of money. Uh, we never got these guys fully kitted out, I don't think. Let's do that, let's do that, and let's go ahead and do this. We don't have enough. So we need to get another Ornithopter, and we're gonna go ahead and go into safe mode, I think now, so they stop getting eaten. All right, so let's do that. Let's do that, and then we can go in safe mode, and we can go in safe mode. Little things here and there that I'm missing, but not the end of the world, so. All right, what other um, actions do I want to do? Sleeper agents is pretty good, too. I could be sacrificing brainwashed agents for those, I think. Uh, Spacing Guild, yeah, let's claim the favor, and we need to build the mothership now. Let's cancel you, and cancel you, and that's right, we could just build the mothership, right? The Overlord, or no, we're missing fuel cells, okay. So I'm going to need to... Probably, probably change it up here. Ah, oh, this is this is gonna be so good though. It's gonna be so much more we get. Uh, are we gonna defeat these raiders? Man, they're pretty serious. And thankfully, the missile turret's still building. Yeah, that's gonna probably pop out and do it. And it looks like we are handling them. So at some point we can get the mothership. Let's go ahead and cancel our uh, our parts that we were doing. I think it was in this region. That's where it was. So let's cancel that. So we can maybe have some political sway. And um, aside from that, we can just go ahead and get the um, get the goodies. Wonder if he's going to be trying to assassinate me here. I need to force him to fight, you know, to keep his economy in the pits because I can like update. He can't, right? So that's that's pretty good for us. All right, let's get you in safe mode. Let's grab a couple of these. We got our turrets and our fully uh, fully built out operation. So I just went up to 17k. I just went up ahead of everybody now. And uh, we're gonna have a mortal combat here. Yeah, he's ready. He's got the fighting mechs are pretty good. Don't know how this is going to go, but Robin, we need to get him in control group two. Okay, so here he comes. The Baron, the legions of the Baron are on their way. So we need to get our whole army down here before we engage. He does have some lands rad guard, and now let's do this. And we can do sleeper agents. Hey, perfect. That's actually kind of convenient because I can use all my actions during the lands rad. Oh my god, okay. Is that like just bugging out? That's weird. A little bit of lag there, no problem. Uh, we need to get Glossu back, but he's getting pounded pretty good, it looks like. Let's go ahead and do Sleeper Agents here. Just kind of keep hammering his armies. Well, why not, right? Um, I'm going to try and get the Chome blocked, actually. I'm going to try and get the Chome blocked. Oh, and we no, we want Imperial Intelligence. Yeah, so we want that, actually. So we're going to put all our votes into that, because then I can sell search for free. And that's just huge. So do we want to do Combat Drugs? Robin is going to go ahead and use Robin's Thralls here. Um, you guys can focus this, 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 and this. Do this. And um, yeah, we're getting some good damage in there, man. Getting some good damage. 
We're literally fighting under his like TC here, basically. Our, our gun line is doing work. They're doing a ton of work. Robin is tanking it like a champ, but he needs to get out of there. He's being focused very, very heavily. And, oh, they're out of control right now. That's right, because of Robin. Yeah, so we're going to run you back to the base. Him living is great, and these trades are pretty cost-effective, I would say. We're killing a lot of his army here, like, every time. Um, are we going to get his lord? Is that his lord? It is. So we do, we do kill his lord again, which I think we were happy with that trade. Let's get this. And um, do we want to get any of these guys, these little bums? I don't think so. Let's get some gunners. And we're actually living with Robin these days. That's that's something. All right, let's see what's in effect. I think the cell search thing is on, so let's go ahead and do that. And um, we can do that. So we'll do cell searches. And we can even set up infiltration cells if we want to. But I don't know if we want to. He tries this every time. He always counterattacks, and then my reinforcements come, and it's just like a Benny Hill, which is really funny. All right, let's get this, this, and supply drop. Militia and a turret, you know, that's a lot. And then we can go ahead and get a Cerberus here too. So Robin is also a really good fighter, so he's going to come in and definitely do some damage. Let's get the Railgun Drone. So he, oh, he's got his whip. Oh, that's a cool touch. I never noticed they actually added that. That's really rad. Uh, how are we doing elsewhere? Yeah, we need to upgrade this. Robin is, is giving that guy the business, and our reinforcements should be here very soon. So we're going to get on the fight engineers. Oh, we're out of here. We don't want to get wormed. Yeah, he doesn't kill any militia, or he killed one maybe. He killed one. All right, so under the base you go. And um, now we, we prepare for round two. We're going to prepare for round two. <laughs> round two, fight. Uh, we're at 40 knowledge, which I think is enough. So I'm going to go ahead and get a data center. Intel is going to be our thing, right? So we're really going to be trying to take advantage of that. I do not have a military base here. Our manpower income is, is respectable, but not great. I would like to... This is a good one to save for a win con here. So I guess we just grab this region. Um, we don't really have too many other ways to expand here. That's for damn sure. Siege incentives could be good. Let's get energy efficiency, and um, we can go ahead and get siege incentives after that. Chump support is, is good and all, but yeah, they're, they're chumming pretty hard. They're chumming pretty hard here. All right, so let's get some more troopers. Gunners and troopers. Is he having to make subvoids yet? Oh, he, he's got his folder relay. Okay, so we need to get our mothership, or else we could just be in some danger, right? The research is good at 37, though. I would say that's pretty solid. Um, let's get some demos here. That looks fine. We're keeping it. We're keeping him down. You know, we're keeping him down, which I hope is hope is working out well. How's he doing? Yeah. Oh, and we can do the cell search too. All right. So we're gonna cell search that, and we need to do more cell searches. Oh, we just lost something. I was I was looking at something else. Okay. Uh, did the harvester die here? No, he's in safe mode. He's fine. Couple gunners. They're gonna keep investigating here. And we're going to take this base and just kind of expand our network. Um, looking at the Empire, not everything's on fire, which is good. Let's get the free tech here. We're going to get another cell search here in a moment. Um, do I have any brainwashed agents active? Yeah, we got one here, but let's go on counter intel to make sure no funny business is going down. Looks like we're being raided here as well. And um, yeah, I think I might even go for a hedge victory at some point, guys. I think that could be really, really in the cards. All right, manpower. And we're getting 500 to go. This is going to be Plascrete, which we don't really need. We've been pretty uh, comfortable in Plascrete. Still getting water and also the... Uh, let's actually get the Spice Gathering. Yeah, we should have Spice Silos on all of our, our regions, by the way. We've been really bad about that. So for here, let's cut something here that isn't super important. Like, everything there is actually important. And um, we might need to do it here. Or we could just grab this region. We are at 18k right now. So we're, like, threatening the, um, you know, the win con for sure. So energy efficiency will will give us a bit. What do you need? We're dealing with rebels once again. Um, we did get rid of a fuel cell. Yeah, we did. And we're going to have another one here. So let's search that. Did he have any around? I don't think he did. Do another cell search. And we're going to keep cell searching. He probably has one out here. My base is getting kind of vast in terms of its uh, its girth. Do we have another spice here? We don't have spice down here. Okay. Get a knowledge building. All right. Anything for you, Baron. Really, though? Really, Robin? Would it, would you do anything for the Baron? I don't think so. I think there's limits to Robin's loyalty. As I would assume is the case with all the Harkonnens. He's, we're running this man out of money. He's, he's got like 1.1k. So we can keep drain, uh, drowning him in um, resources for sure. Um, and, you know, if we the thing is if we get a kill, then it makes it way easier to fight a 2v1 versus these guys. Uh, Chome is whatever. Nobody's even close to 30%. Smugglers are 2.7k. Max Ben Jim is at 19. Atreides are very rich. Wow. But he's only at 21, so it's still, you know, a bit of money to, to spend here. 
So I think we'll continue our uh, our conquest here. We could do the administrative burden and get like siege incentives, but I think just like cutting off his northern empire here is gonna be fine. Um, we could go there and do a worm call here. That would actually be a pretty good play. So we do that, we worm call this, and then we, oh, right, right as rebels are hitting too. That's actually potentially very, very good. All right, so let's get all you guys, pimp you out, and we get money per eco building here. So we're just gonna spam eco buildings. Yes, yes. And we got a lot of troopers here now, a lot of expendable boys. Some more of these, and uh, this should be helping our fuel cell tech once we finish it, the uh, energy efficiency. I don't think we need to go, yeah, we probably skip siege incentives. Chum support is kind of pricey, but it does give us um, spice exchange rate. I think we go down savage cleansing and symbols of authority and go for a hedge victory, actually. It's probably going to be our, our win con. All right, so can we cell search more? Uh, oh, you have one back there. A suspicious cell, eh? So he's pillaging here. Ooh, that means he could just run up there, but his supplies are probably running a little bit low. But man, oh man, fighting near his main base has just been brutal. So we're going to try a different angle this time and see how it plays out. Um, we see the smugglers gathering at my border. Hmm, that's a little bit dodgy, isn't it? Okay. So we're going to get back. We're going to get back. Yeah, I'm uh, kind of danger close to the hedge threshold where it's going to start scaring people. Yeah, we, we've discovered some infiltration cells. Let's like rally you over here and maybe go get those. He was trying to get real sneaky in the back of my base. Um, for this, we can get rid of the, the missile turret's pretty damn good here. We could cut one manpower building there. Okay, I have the council. Smugglers are gonna put a bounty on themselves for that, likely. Yeah, he has cut, well, I cut peace with him earlier, so that's not on the table either. Um, Vernius is very beat up. I can't really see Vernius winning this game now with all the beatings they've taken and their economy just being in the pits. Um, but that's a lot of money for us. How many votes do I have though? Not that many actually. Um, I'm gonna just try and get the upkeep for myself. I think it will equate to more money than that. So we're gonna try that and see if it works. Alrighty, um, we have a lot of stuff down here we could grab. Let's get the manpower buildings. Um, you need to go infiltrate and check that out. I know how scary of a neighbor Vernius is. His army, he does have the folder relay and I don't. We can get the, oh, the overlord's pretty nuts. Once we get the overlord, we can start fighting again. You know, that's when we'll we'll really start to roll rumble. Okay, so we're at 19k after paying taxes. Um, yeah, we got 18.4 on the Atreides. I might have overextended a little bit too hard. Yeah, water is so low. I guess we just have such a vast empire and the rebellions are pretty troll too. At least there's no Fremen. Fremen rebellions are, are very, very obnoxious to deal with. All right. So here, um, let's get a monitoring station in case assassins try and slip in. He's investigating that, and there's another fuel cell here. So clearly there's some people trying to assassinate me, which you gotta love. Um, I'm pretty sure in an open fight we would crush his armies, but under the protection of his base, it's a little bit dodgy. Okay, let's go down here and investigate that. And looking good, looking good. We have a couple territories to grab, like we're keeping these in the wings to kind of lunge for a victory. Savage cleansing is good. That will give us a shit ton of money when we decide to uh, attack. And Choma's 25. Let's buy a little bit and try and get to 10%. 10% Choma's nice. And let's take this down too if he's just going to be sitting there. And pop that bad boy down. Yeah, he's watching. He knows. All right. Is he going to come fight me for real? In my turf? Huh. This could be interesting. I, I hope he wins. I'd love to see it. I should just be abusing EMP bomb against him, by the way. I Maybe, maybe, do I even have EMP bomb with the Harkonnens? He could just teleport away now, so maybe... Yeah, we got the MP bomb, so we need two Space and Guild information. Okay. Let's get you on Space and Guild. Hey, we got the Mothership now. All right. So let's attack. Scavenger teams. And combat drugs. All right. So we're going to probably run through them here. Let's go ahead and use uh, Robin's Thralls. Okay. And that's cool. So he pulls back. He baits out some missions, but little does he know, I have a million. Just do that all day. All right. I think we killed a couple units. I don't think we really lost anything. So that's going to be on cooldown for a while. So we can go fight him. Um, smugglers are trolling me over there. So that's that's something. Um, let's go here. And do we want to attack that? He's trying to liberate this. Um, maybe. Do we want to go fight that? The without the mothership, it might be hard to win. But we can keep the mothership here to keep these bad boys honest. Everybody's healing up right now. Oh, but combat drugs is not allowing me to heal. That's what it is. Okay. So we need to go back this way. Also get an airfield here. We need to have layers and layers of airfields, you know, for the healing. I think we have a little bit of time before that goes. Um, I need to get toxic vapors too. And um, also, yeah, savage cleansing. We need to get spying mastery. 
Very potato that I haven't done that, for sure. All right, so he's coming to attack. They're clearly coordinating. Um, and then we just come down here and fight him again. Now's a good time to stab Smugs. Yeah, he's just going to run. Just going to run. He, he knows he can't win in a straight fight. Um, okay, so he's trolling there a little bit. We have our stuff. We can shuttle over. And we can go ahead and probably crush this army pretty hard. We're going to leave the Overlord here to try and deal with that. And we got a rebellion up here, which is being dealt with. Um, probably going to be able to stop this. Let's go ahead and do the scavenger teams. He's going to lose probably most of his army, I would imagine. And boom. And combat drugs. And Robin's going to pop his ability again. So there it goes. And here he comes with this. Oh, it's lagging. Oh, God, the lag. So painful. All right, so we got that. We got the rebels doing their thing. The smuggler army is probably going to get pounded out. I don't know, though. Let's go ahead and make some reinforcements and Cerberus and gunners and stuff. Uh, it's going actually a little bit better than I expected for the smugglers, but I think we clear them out still. We'll have to see. And, um, yeah, we're able to get the Overlord to do some good work, so let's get the Overlord to continue shooting here. Uh, how does this fight go? It looks like we barely beat them, but they do liberate a territory from us, which is actually good, because that's going to keep us from being, like, too much of a target. And then we can, um, we can rally the reinforcements over here, like so. Keep the Overlord flying this way. Robin and company need to heal a little bit. Looks like we're getting hit by like some toxic vapor type ability or something. And we can shuttle over there. And uh, we can attack. Yes. Let's get this and this. Is he going to attack the smugglers? Max Benjamin might not care. But we did get slowed down. That's actually good. Because we would have been above 20k. So in, in a way, the smugglers actually did us a bit of a favor. You can see how the Vernius armies are um, kind of weak. You know? Oh, Robin, please don't get eaten. I don't want to have to remake you. Please don't eat me. Yeah, like they're barely be able to get my militia here, guys. All right, let's get all that. And um, cool, so the reinforcements arrived. And um, the worm call hopefully will disappear soon. We're going to just try and sneak in there with Robin and hope for the best. Let's make some troopers just to be cheap. And we can use Robin's thralls. Once again, we're getting it. And we could do a worm thing when they try and run. We could catch them with that. I don't know if it's going to work, but... Man, these Harkonnen armies are doing work. Okay, I'm glad to see they're still good. I was concerned that in the patch they got nerfed a bit, but they seem to be performing just fine. Okay, so we're going to have the drones go here. So you can rush the drones towards one target. You see how we sniped his hero? The Overlord can send their drones in to go, like, bananas on one target now. So, yeah, we just, like, sniped his hero again, which is really, really painful. Uh, he's probably asking for help from the smugs, I would wager. Um, we have 380-something. We need to let somebody else kind of jump up here, but yeah, God, he's got to be broke, right? Ah, 2.5k. It's, it's pretty decent. All right, let's buy some chome. We're up to 10% now. And yeah, we were able to win the fight, which was great. So no problems. All is good in the neighborhood. Um, EMP bomb should be available soon. And spying mastery is also coming. 36 knowledge, I think, is acceptable. I think it's good enough. You know, it ain't bad. And the troopers have arrived. Low tier units, but it is what it is. We could buy some mercs now, too. So let's get some mercenaries and use those to go attack. Because I don't want to, I don't want to take the breaks off him. You know, I don't want to take the breaks. Just like in like Age of Empires FFA, if you're able to kill the guy next to you, then that's usually a big win, right? Um, because you can just kind of, you can do whatever you please, basically. His mothership's still there. We're gonna go down and, and pillage the base. I'll take Vernius, and you and I duel at end. Yeah, that's a good way to politic too, you know. Because then, like, people like their chances 1v1, you know? But outside of 1v1, it's certainly a little bit harder. All right, let's get some combat probes. Armory is fully geared out. Um, Speaker of the Council. Do we have any votes? We have 316. We're not helpless in that regard. Um, we can't let Atreides get that. And uh, they're probably going to be... I, know, I think... I'm going to vote the smugglers for this to make the money. Because I feel like the Atreides are going to beat them after that fight. Vote for me? Uh, that is uh, a no-no because of the bounty. I like I have very little to do across the map here. So Vernius and I might actually have to have peace, although he's going to try and assassinate me still, I would wager. Uh, all right, so Toxic Vapors. We're going to go ahead and sacrifice a Land Threat Agent to get that one ready. I think it, yeah, non-mechanical units. Oh, that's shit. That's really bad, actually. So we're going to get the EMP bomb, actually. And we'll sacrifice the Agent, which is going to make that one permanently cheaper. So who ended up winning that? Uh, Speaker of the Council is, is, is uh, Smugglers, which is fine because we could we could definitely, like, Max Ben Jim's killing him right now, so that's that's definitely better. 
Um, Vernius, we need to we need to like cripple them a little bit more. Okay, so I got some brainwashed agents, so we'll just kind of keep them here in Chome for now, and we'll put them in Landsrad. Outstanding. Let's get another heavy here. We could grab some more territory. Um, I don't want to grab anything yet because that's going to put me over the brink. I do have an EMP bomb though, so um, the Acid Lakes are a pain in the butt, dude. They're a pain. Um, we got Authority, which we can grab. Spying Mastery will give me more agents, and then I need to get Symbols of Authority. That's That one's really, really good. It is a late game tech. All right, let's go down and fight. I can replace my army pretty easily, so I'm not, I'm not stressing it. All right, baby. Let's go. He's lost his lord a lot. Like, his hero has been dying over and over. So that's been probably tanking his Landsrad. And um, here he comes. Yeah, he's got a bit of an army. It's not bad. So let's get you guys back. Let's pull them back here and beat them down. Haven't used my abilities yet, but I assume he's coming. He's trying to get me close to his main base, right? Okay, so we're going to hit this. He's probably going to camp out in his main base, not wanting any trouble. Let's do the supply drop. And uh, how are we looking? Are we going to kill any buildings here? I think we're just going to pillage it. All right, so we're going to pillage this for the dough. Let's kill that. So that's going to cut off his base there. And now, unfortunately, I just jumped up because of the spice tax. So that's, that's tough. But I'm literally only a couple hundred behind homeboy, right? I don't think he's going to attack. I think he's chilling. So we're going to get all these buildings. Maybe he'll come and fight me, but I have EMP bomb now, so I'm feeling pretty confident. Okay. Let's retreat. Our army's pretty damaged. Eh, we can get back and destroy a couple more buildings. We can get this pillage off. That's great. That's a fair amount of dough. Okay, so we're retreating. We'll get this now. This is his intelligence post or whatever. And, um, yeah, you know what? Let's take the fight. That's fine. We're going to do this. We're going to do combat drugs. Robin's going to buff the range units, and we will EMP bomb him. So maybe he's going to teleport away, which is fine. But that nerfs his army so incredibly hard. It's it's really brutal. Oh, unfortunately, everybody's out of control. So we did get the pillage off, so let's get out of here. And let's go get symbols of authority now. And now we just go for a hedge victory, I think. A couple of the guys got a little bit bloodthirsty. They were chasing. Can you send any intel? Yes, I can. Uh, request. Yeah, so let's go to Max Ben Jim. And let's send him some intel. And we can go ahead and do... A little bit less. Send some intel there. I'll offer it to him. It's great. And then let's get some of these and some of these and these. And cool. All right. So let's sacrifice that. And once again, we can EMP bomb, I think. Where is it? EMP bomb? Oh, it's, it's ready already. Really? Do we have it? Oh, it's already researching. Okay. I need to be using Peter a little bit better. So he's got his neural network. Um, I can go grab this. It's a little bit McGreedy. Robin has lived the entire game, which is wild. He's almost killed Siege Tuik here, which is outstanding. I feel as if I'm gonna get 2v1'd after this though. Okay, here he comes. Does he want some? All right, we're gonna, we're gonna see how bad he wants it. If we can lure him out and get him, like have reinforcements like class collapse on his side. Oh, that's gonna be money actually. We could do this. And we're gonna have like a big ambush. We're gonna like lure him back here and the dreaded Harkonnen ambush will be in full effect here. All right, so let's do that, and we're going to go ahead and EMP bomb him here. So the EMP bomb's back, and we're about to get a big wave of reinforcement soon. They're all going to land here, like right behind him. Oh, it's just like the movies. Oh, I love it. The dreaded Harkonnen ambushes. All right, so let's get a couple range units, have you guys jump back here. Um, overall, we can get all of our drones to go target this character. Yeah, that's going to insta- Oh, we got his champion again. Yes, nice. And um, I think we're winning the fight. Like, the Vernius armies just seem a little bit haggard. I mean, I've had some success with them, but it's a tricky one. Yeah, if we butcher him here, that's pretty bad for him. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, he's losing everything at this point. And my Cerberus and, like, have pretty good sustained DPS, too. Um, and smugglers are almost dead. The siege is very low, so the longer that takes, the better. Robin's going to give uh, bonus damage to the range units. And what do we got here? I can't even see what he's... Oh, we need to get that fight engineer. I thought that was... I thought we already got it, but no, that's, it's still there. Okay. So that's going to cut the healing off, and that, that's what was making his army so tanky, was um, that healing. That ambush was really cool, though. Okay, Worm comes in. Let's get his mothership, if we can. So uh, the Overlord... If we get his mothership, he's basically just a potato for the rest of the game. Uh, yeah, it's going to die. So now he's not going to be able to teleport away from my EMPs. 
All right, so let's get you and let's sacrifice a brainwashed agent onto the EMP bomb, which we can't, oh, we don't have enough space in guild information, okay. All right then, and now we get this. So that was a pretty catastrophic fight for him. Yeah, all right, get you guys over here. And we do that. Okay, so let's grab it. And uh, it's a tough one because smugs have gov reroll also. You see, I gotta like lay the the seeds of the seeds of uh, discontent. You know, probably switch some plastery buildings out now. Okay, and then here we can get a data center for a little bit of intel. Which do we even? We don't really even need intel at this point, guys. We have so much. We're just like the overlords of intel. Manpower, though, we do need. He says dealing with my own stuff right now? Yes, good, good, good. All right, so let's get some heavies in here. Let's go ahead and get a missile turret. Make it very, very tough to attack. We have another agent um, who is, yeah, we need to get our levels back up. We have three on counter intel, um, and we can go ahead and get you on space and guild to try and speed that along. Yeah, looks good. And Vernius, I mean, we might even be able to just pile in and give him the biz, right? Because we can buy mercenaries with Chome and just probably ravage his northern villages. I need to keep him weak so then I can fight off the other player. Okay, um, yeah, looks good. How are the rebellions looking? Uh, we still have our militia slots. Robin has been an absolute beast this game. We have our mothership. The overlord is really good now, by the way. The Harkonnen mothership, that thing is sweet. All right, so what do we got in terms of votes? Uh, Water Sellers Union, so smugglers want that main base thing. Uh, I'm gonna deny that though, because I want him to die. Huh. Yeah, we actually, mm, we can't afford to get this because if we're going for that kind of a victory, we need to oppose that. Okay, so we're going to oppose that. And then we'll oppose, we'll put Atreides on this with some votes to show some solidarity with Max Ben Jim. And probably could have just weaseled my way into that. But yeah, he has Speaker of the Council, so uh, we need to help. Um, we need to help him for sure. Okay, who got that? Smugglers ended up getting it. Yeah, so that's going to buy him a little bit of time. I'm going to go ahead and send the Atreides some more. Um, this is like the most barren shit ever, by the way. We're going to send them a little bit more. Okay, so we're supporting the war effort. We're going to start choming ourselves. Atreides are at 32%, but my hedge victory chances are actually really good here. They're very, very good. Uh, we do not have a maintenance center here. We do not. Ooh, that's a little bit dodgy, isn't it? Let's actually cut this and get a maintenance center. That's going to be a big cost reduction right there. Okay, great. And now we're going to go down and just roll over him again. I mean, Vernius has got to be suffering. They're at 7k. I don't know how they're making such money. Um, I wonder if he's going to try an assassination on me here. Okay. So symbols of authority. We're going to get the passive hedge going as soon as that finishes. Um, and we can expand again to like all the regions near our base. We can take this one out front. Um, we're going to go annihilate that siege. All right, team. Let's go down. <laughs> it is a strategic move. Okay, enemy has captured our agent, so we don't have any lands rad stuff right now, which is unfortunate. Um, no EMP bombs either. Yeah, having to keep three guys on the counter intel is tough. All right, so we're going to roll over here and take down this village. Okay, yeah, this is a really awkward pathing. But if he comes out here again, yeah, I'm going to kind of get the business here a little bit. Ugh, I should have sacked an agent for that too. Kill them all! All right. Let's get you on Landsrad and you over here. No, it's fine. So we're going to take down this village. We're going to pillage it. Let's do the supply drop. Friggin' Acid Lakes are killing us, but we've had pretty dominant fights in most of those armies. So, all right, uh, let's get an agent and we are going to go ahead and assign you on the supply drop. And then we can flee out into the desert if we need to. So that's the plan. Uh, all right, let's take that region. I don't know if we take damage per day that there but we're gonna go ahead and kill everything here that will definitely slow him down a little bit but we're taking so much damage yeah we're gonna have to flee into the desert before things get ugly oh hello okay wow that lag holy shit oh oh it's frozen jesus okay we definitely lose this fight let's even get robin out at least all right so rally point is going to be here and let's get you guys no not harpies but i guess we could just build one for now the mothership is still... We're actually, like, putting up a decent little fight here, believe it or not. Robin's gonna flee back there. It's just like in the movies, the, the cowardly retreat. 
Yeah, we're fighting pretty well. Those guys, those guys are putting in some work, although I think Robin might actually die here. Uh, let's cancel this. And do we have the authority yet? I don't think we do. Let's get some gunners. All right. The Overlord's trying its best. I think we need to start running with it because I couldn't afford to replace it. That would be a pain. So Robin can turn and fight here. Maybe he's going to survive. Uh, I don't know. He looks like he's dead. So the beast has fallen. Oh, the beast has fallen. I didn't think he would have his folder relay back so quickly, but it looks like he had the ship parts. So well played to him. All right. Looking fine. We did manage to do a little bit of damage. And um, he's still a threat. Smugglers are pretty close to dying. Oh, it looks like they're coming back, actually. Okay. So if he gets governor, though, that's actually really good for us because we can we can race him, um, which is strong. Obviously, attacking into his defenses the whole game is a pretty big disadvantage, but we've definitely been winning most of the fights. Let's get the heavies here uh, to deal with the rebellions. Looks fine, looks fine. We can buy a little bit more chome. That'll keep the Atreides from being able to just go bonkers, right? And what do we got? Recruitment office. It's actually pretty nice. You know, we didn't have the EMP bomb there, which is a little bit pain. Um, let's get you into the EMP bomb. See how it's like really cheap? Every time I stack an agent, it gets cheaper. I love it. It's such a cool thing. And um, yeah, we have an agent loaded in here, but let's get you in out. Now, is he there? Oh, okay, he's already there, I guess. No problem. And let's get Cerberus. And we got some more brainwashed agents. So now we can go ahead and go for the hedge race. So we need to start deleting buildings and replacing it with hedge pretty much everywhere. Um, assembly line's not very good. Uh, we can get the defensive stuff. That's actually not bad since we're going to be defending attacks. So we're going to pay those patents and help our boy out. And brainwashed agents, let's get you and go into the... Um, toxic Vapors is going to be good against the other players. So we need to hold that one. And now we just defend and go... Um, let's see if we can bait Bernius into an on-aggression pact. All right. So I'm going to see if they want it. If they want it, then that's good. Because then I can just cackle and hedge, and he's going to have to use influence to break it with me. So maybe he won't take it. You know, maybe he's going to be a clever creature and not take it, but we'll find out. All right, so we're going to get the, the hedge. All right, so let's get hedge and hedge. What other special regions do we have? We have another one here. Uh-oh, that's a little bit ugly, isn't it? All right, so let's fly over there. We don't, if we had lost that, that would have been really bad. Um, and yes, this one as well. So we can cut this. The perfect building to cut. Did he take it? No, he denied it. Okay, he doesn't want any of that. So, But our passive hedge is going to be in full effect. I don't think there's going to be much that he can do. Um, we do fly some units over. Oh, it's just one executioner. That's pretty funny. And we'll keep the overlord here. Let's go ahead and get some troopers. I kind of like the zombie troopers. It's like a cheap screen. They seem pretty radical. All right, so we're going to get onto this chone branch. Overlord's going to chill here. We got the hedge buildings coming down, and um, yeah, we're doing we're doing okay. I mean, this is very very much a clear cut. Like, let's go for hedge. Um, we save this for the final grab. Vernius is chilling. They don't want peace anymore, which I don't blame them. I wouldn't probably want peace either. Let's use sacrifice you for combat drugs. All right, looking good, looking good. We got all that, and like this mortal combat down here. Oh man, he healed his main base up. So that definitely set Max Ben Jim back too. But I feel like they're all scheming against me now, which is likely going to be the case. Let's get the Overlord to come down and start zapping some of these guys. And we we have the EMP bomb as well. Uh, what do we want to get here? Probably like a listening post or something is fine. All right, so let's attack. We can get the rally point set up over here, and we can just hopefully hopefully hold them off. Yeah, we go through the manpower so quickly, boys. All right, we got a couple of zombie troopers. We're going to just start sniping these. Let's see if we can get Glossy Raven back. Yeah, we need him. We need our boy. And we can also get some mercs, too. So let's just build mercenaries. I love that. I love that this faction uses the dreaded lag to get you. It's really fun. Uh, EMP bomb. So we're going to EMP bomb. We're going to sleep agent, and um, hopefully that'll work out. All right. So I need somebody to win governor now. We want sales incentive because we have enough chome at the moment. Um, although Vernius is probably going to vote me 420. So let's block everybody from um, chome. I think is the idea. That'll keep the Atreides from buying more. All right. So we're going to block that. I'm going to get hit with gear regs. Oh, he's trying to get Atreides. Oh, never mind, actually, because he, he's probably going to outvote. Yeah, go for the Atreides there. It's nice that we've had these like two little microcosm fights. All right. Let's shuttle you guys over. Let's get you heavies in there. Yeah, Militia and looking fine. Now the fighting is back, and we do have a decent pocket of mercenaries and whatnot, and we do have the... Um, yeah, does he have a hero in here? Let's go ahead and do this. 
we could target the hero, although it looks like this thing is out of control. Okay, let's come around the back. I think he's out grinding us here for sure. He need to go after his range units back here. Yeah, the Overlord. Oh, he had the hidden back door. Oh, so he took over my ship. That's so gangster. I love that. I'm actually happy that it's he's doing pretty well for himself here. Um, all right, so let's get you guys to rally right here. How are we looking? Probably just more mercs. Yeah. Just an unholy legion of mercenaries. Robin will be back soon, too. Not soon, actually. Oh, shit. That's still a ways off. <laughs> all right, so no Robin for now. And let's go after you. The mothership is still not ours. The mothership regained its health, he said, yeah. It does, it does. It's tough, man, it's tough. Okay, so he poured it out when it wasn't going well for him, which is smart, well played. We had the EMP bomb too, I, I guess I didn't get a chance to use that. Let's use the military base here. Um, now we gotta watch for Gov. Okay, so I need to like manipulate a little bit, you know, make it look like, where are you guys? Okay, you guys never came back to help, how dare you? Okay, I tried to get peace with this guy, gentleman here, but he didn't take it, which is smart. If I grab any more, it's going to be, like, really obvious. Um, I have these two bases here. I could go grab a small base. So maybe, maybe we can go get that. So let's uh, shuttle back to the main base. Uh, oh, we have an ability on cooldown? How's that on cooldown? Oh, it's because the storm is there. Okay. All right, then. And um, defense, yeah, civilian defense forces. What's on, on par now? Uh, the tone buying price is high, so that's going to be blocking the Atreides' attempt to uh, chum it up. We got you. We can do the Savage uh, Cleansing if we want to at some of the sieges. Um, the Overlord here will probably be able to keep most of them at bay. Hopefully this stupid sandstorm will pass soon. And uh, this is what? Yeah, for each economy building, so we could probably just slap down one of these. Make a little bit more dough. So we got 20k. Let's go ahead and shuttle over here and grab some of these like wiener bases near our, like our main. Um, we got the missile turret, but not the double missile turret. My positioning on the missile turrets wasn't great. Ray Robin's on the way back. I never built this up, which is a bit of a mistake. That could have been nice. Um, yeah, you know, it's two water, but I guess it's better than nothing, but probably just slurry buildings. For now, it's going to be fine. So let's just grab this, because I don't want to sit on max authority, right? That's very potato. Uh, okay, so he's going to come back, and we can just fly over and, and um, you know, get him again in a second. It's going to take him a minute to get through those militia. Let's get some executioners, and uh, we'll pop over there in just a moment. So we're going to take that, and the Overlord can start, um, you know, poking away at these guys. So let's just poke from downtown on the fight engineers. Uh, yeah, he needs to decap that, obviously, but I have EMP bombs. So that's going to force him back, likely. So combat drugs, um, and yeah, let's finish capping that, and we're going to fly over. We are killing a... We can do that, yeah, and just one-shot that guy, which is good. Cool. So we just killed two of his fight engineers. The Harkonnen Mothership, by the way, is like God tier now. It's very, very good. All right, let's get some more uh, gunners here. We're going to need them. Okay, so we're at 24k hedge. We're probably going to start getting teamed by the Atreides, although I think they're in Mortal Kombat down there. Yeah, I think they're in Mortal Wombat. Okay, so this is what? We get Slurry if we have a building of each type. Let's get that. And um, cool, man. Robin isn't back yet. He's trying his best. He's trying his little heart out. We could move down here. I think we just wait for the batch of reinforcements. Let's get a couple more mercs. Chome is 10,000 a share. Talk about expensive. All right. Let's get some Cerberus coming in. I like them a lot in this matchup, in this fight. I find they're pretty good. Well, they're bleed. I think they have a bleed ability, which isn't terribly useful here, but it is what it is. All right. So let's do this. And we will EMP bomb them this time. And let's get the mothership to um, go in and target down his fight engineers. So we're going to target the fight engineers. Let's get all our range units. So engineers and um, engineers. So the fight engineer is gone. He doesn't have any more healing. And let's do combat drugs here and supplies. Do we need supplies? I don't think so. All right. So worm call is pretty good, especially when I'm, I think, out of control here. Yeah, we do get wormed a little bit. Yeah, well played. But that region's going to be stabilized, and he'll be back for round 10, I'm sure. Had, we've had a good little duel of fates over here. That's, that's indeed the case. And um, we can get some basic militia just to you know keep efficiency in that village. And for here, let's get the heavies. And um, what else do we want to get with our last spot? Intel, manpower, manpower probably. I don't think I ever like fully geared out my spice fields, by the way. Something must be done about Harkonnens. Um, yeah, they're running out of time to deal with me. They really are. So let's get the rally point. Robin needs to join the army. And then here, let's get you guys. So let's get some mercs to go grab these bases. And then they can just shuffle around, basically. I don't know if I could fight off the Atreides, too. I do have Toxic Vapors, though, which is really, really nice. 
Okay, so these guys are healing up. Max, Ben, Jim, and company are hanging out. We're going to get back to the base here. Militia are going to grab that, or the the, uh, the uh, mercenaries, excuse me. The filthy mercenaries. And then we just grab the uh, minor base down here, the renegade base, and I think it's GG, right? We just, like, living it up. So let's fly you over there. Take that base. We got, what, 291? How much is that to take? This is 260, so yeah, we can definitely just grab that. And, um, yeah, we're going to get another militia there, which is going to make it very hard. Let's go ahead and sacrifice some agents uh, for the EMP bomb. Nice. So this is where Peter is coming into play. You know, Peter DeVries. Yeah, that's where he's he's really chortling pretty hard. The Atreides and Smuggler blood feud on the bottom has been very good for us. Shelby is um, pretty much the only one trying to stop me. And now we have extra militia slots, which is actually quite good for our opponents. All right, so do we have any authority we can grab around here? I'm not seeing any. Um, but let's go grab this special region. Do this. And you guys come down here and just fly there. Um, I'm pretty sure we got most of the building upgrades we need. Um, what do we want to get here? Knowledge. Pure little knowledge never hurts. And uh, yeah, we got the pass pa passive hedge of uh, a decent amount. Atreides might stop me here. I wouldn't be surprised. Combat drugs only cost 15. Uh, is he going to notice, though, is the question. If we get this renegade base, though, that's money. Because then we can just grab that. So let's do a worm call here to keep them keep them from coming to stop me. And we grab this. And I'm going to vote governor on somebody else to kind of create chaos, I think is the play. OK, so that's all set. Um, we got the overlord guarding the flank. We got the hedge going here. Let's get a couple more heavies to deny that. We have more militia slots, which I absolutely love. And um, yeah, we're about ready to party. What's, what's on here? What's on the docket? Governorship? We're definitely going to vote for the smugglers. Um, who has more? 631 and um, yeah, so we're going to vote the smugglers because that's going to put like a really tough conundrum on everybody. And um, I'm going for a hedge win. So I'm just trying to because he has a reroll. It's going to force people into a very awkward situation. So we're going to vote for him. Let's get some more demo militia. Get another militia here. Yeah, so we're trying to get everything all militiaed out. And what do we got here for military buildings? Let's get that. The smugglers have won, and they have a reroll too, by the way, which is really savage. So we're clearing this out. Robin is there. He's helping the boys. <laughs> then promote him again later. Actually, it doesn't matter either way. Yeah. All right. So I think we're going to be okay. We got the worm call there. Let's go ahead and get another worm call. I don't have any brainwashed agents, so it is what it is. Um, savage cleansing has been obfuscated. Okay. That's, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Oh, you didn't get the craft workshop one. Oh, buddy. You done goofed. Maybe he doesn't know the Harkonnen tech tree. I'm not sure. But we're going to grab this, and that's going to put us, like, very close to winning. Uh, at this point, let's drop that. And uh, we have the Toxic Vapors and the Worm Call. So let's take this now. Clear that out very, very quickly here. And let's take that territory. And this could just win it for us pretty quickly here. Taxes are still a ways off. I've been paying my taxes, though. Uh, so we're going to get this, and then we just have to fight the Atreides for that, basically. All right, let's get you guys and some gunners. We could even build some assassins just to kill his fight engineers, which I really, really like that idea, actually. So he's coming over. I don't know if he's going to make it in time. Um, I think I get this village. We definitely don't win this fight against his full army, though, so we just get it and retreat. Oh, we have the authority here, too. That's really nice. So we can grab more. Oh, I hate the lag. The lag stuff. Uh, rally point. We could rally some units down here, but I think, yeah, Vernius hasn't attacked us yet. Um, they're thinking about it. All right, let's rally over there then, that being the case. And uh, do we have enough to get militia in here? Not quite. All right, so let's get a missile turret and get this. All right, so now we need to go deal with Vernius. They're going to get kind of crunk on us here, but we're going to EMP bomb them. And we'll toxic vapors anybody who tries to grab this territory too. Yeah, we have that nice passive daily. So yeah, we're going to have a little bit of time. They're all going for me now, so we're basically all in. I propped up these smugglers. Uh, all right, let's land right behind these guys and just crush that army, maybe. So unfortunately, that one's been decapped like instantly. Uh, back here, what do we want to get? Let's just get a little bit of money. Sure, why not? And uh, we're going to see what we can do. We're going to try. All right, fight engineers down. I think the Vernius army is just going to get just absolutely sandwiched. Um, smugglers are doing a good job. If we can fight the smugglers off that territory, then we're like, we're in bru they're in brutal shape here. Kill them all! I love it. It's so metal, dude. Okay, so he's going to pour it away. Very clever creature. And then in the meantime, we shuttle back and deal with the other base, which is going to be, oh, we don't have an airport there. That's rough. Okay. 
They're putting aside their blood feud, which is not what I want to be seeing. You know, I need to be, I should have timed it a little bit cleaner. Um, do we have enough to grab another territory for the win? I think that special region going is going to be tough. Okay, and um, yeah, maybe I can get over there and stop him, maybe. Ooh, the Atreides are going to be there so quick, though. Okay, so let's try that. And um, we're going to leave the Overlord here with the Militia. He's going to be moving immediately. Let's do a Worm Call. Hopefully he gets eaten on the way over. And then we need to do a Worm Call and a, uh, and a mission here. Okay. So we're trying, man. We're trying. Okay, you guys shuttling down here. And we're going to come over and fight. If, as long as he doesn't get help, I think we can win it. Robin's going to try. Our water's a little bit low. So we need Robin to be alive here and not die. So let's go ahead and do the combat drugs ability. Uh, yes, we do that here. And um, I have the EMP bomb, but he doesn't have any mechanical units. Worm call kept him at bay. So this is a big fight for us here. He's chasing Robin with a couple units, and there's a wild-ass EMP bomb there. All right, so rally point. Let's get you guys down here and do this. So, oh, man, we're crushing this Smug's army, actually. Okay, Robin needs to get on the point. And unfortunately, my whole army's out of control. Uh, but we need to get on to the point. So we need to get on to the point here and contest that. All right. And let's get the rally point here. Get some range units. So I would imagine the uh, Vernius boys are on the way over again. So can I worm call them? I don't think so. But we just smashed the smuggler's force pretty freaking hard. And then we can retreat and, um, and heal up in our territory. Firstly, actually probably is good. Let's get you to go here. Oh, he, he used the hidden back door. I love how he's doing that. It's so smooth. All right, so the smugglers are back, um, but they lost all their progress. So we could fight again. Oh man, I don't know. We need to probably wait. Okay, whatever. Let's 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 do sleep agents. Robin's gonna die. Oh, Robin, he's down. Okay. So now we need to rally some units over here, and um, or do we keep fighting here? It looks like we actually beat the smuggler army again. I think he's just rallying mercs at me. So let's get some heavies, uh, Robin, and mercenaries. And if if we just survive to tax season, I'm pretty sure we just get it. Um, we can grab this territory here too. It's actually 229. Atreides are getting the other side. That's tough. All right. So that's looking great. We have our Smuggler Legion. Vernius is struggling to get our, our, our business here. Are they not in range of an airfield? Is there no airfield here? There isn't. That sucks. Okay. Let's get this. Um, the passive is going well. Max Van Jim is going to probably decap quite a bit. Oh, the chunk. He's running out of steam, baby. Ooh, Max Van Jim made a mistake. He didn't go for that. Okay. So Vernius is going to get this, but our, our ship is, is still causing huge havoc here. So let's get those guys flying, and you guys can go up here and decap that. He, you always got to destroy those airfields, man. Toxic Vapors and Worm Call to keep them trapped here. Let's do this. Rally Point can be right here for now. And um, I think we might be able to stop the Vernius. Okay, so you guys shuttle over there. We're going to get this guy off the point, so here he comes. And did he? if he gets eaten by the Worm here, I just win, right? Uh, but we don't know if Shai Hulud's hungry or not, right? Shai Hulud might not be in the mood for um, dinner. So let's fly over there. Deny that for as long as possible. Smugglers are back, but we have a missile turret now, which is great. Um, we can rally point some troopers over here, maybe. But we need to get some, some missions like stats. So let's go ahead and get Toxic Papers. Do that. And yeah, it's going to be ready in a second. We need to get you guys on the point. Because if we get to survive till tax season, then we're, we're golden, right? Yeah, we just need to survive till tax season. All right. Looks good. Is Verdian still over here trolling? Can EMP bomb them? Okay. We have any troops that are left? Smugglers are getting that as well. Um, let's get you guys on the point. So that's going to keep that. We're very close to tax season. If we just pay our taxes, we just win. I think. Yeah, this is the one that needs to be needs to be played with here. So Toxic Vapors. Uh, let's get you and some mercenaries. Just spam out mercs. Everything's basically on fire right now. Vernius is getting kind of close, but I don't think they're going to get it before tax season. So really, we just need to hold this side. Um, and it looks like the Atreides are slowly starting to lose ground to our uh, Merc spam. Overlord might be able to do something here too. Um, let's rally a couple units like right here and we can get a couple of the uh, mercenaries there. All right. So loss of rights is getting rerolled. I think I win due to the taxes. Uh, GG. Yeah, buddy, the chonk has still got it. All right, so they're trying to vote on me, but I'm just going to, you know, mind game them here and take it. Nine days, you think he's going to win on Gov? I mean, I'm pretty sure the spice tax is going to come through. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, God, I need to buy spice. Is there any spice caravans around? Oh, no. The Chonk doesn't have it. The Chonk. I think I missed my taxes. 
Oh! <laughs> if anything, guys, let this let this replay be a lesson to you guys that you need to pay your taxes or else Uncle Sam's going to get you. Although the Space Chonk might still be able to pull it out. We're, we're trading pretty well on many fronts. Um, we were able to get rid of him here, which is pretty freaking massive. Um, and then we can just go here and get this territory, and I think we just went on that. Okay, so despite all that, despite it, we might be okay. Let's get you here, and we need to get mercs. Mercs, mercs, mercs. Go, 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 mercenaries. All right, and smugglers are taking one territory here. Um, you guys go and just get this. Okay, so if we get that... Wow, dude, the fact that we're still going to maybe win this with that colossal misplay is hilarious. All right. So let's go over here, do this. Um, we need to get some heavies back here to delay that. Make sure they can't decap that again. We stopped Max Ben Jim, the power of mercenaries, man. Um, yeah, they're pretty good. All right, so let's see with Toxic Vapors again. Toxic Vapors wearing down these armies. Yeah, Uncle Sam, you know, might have been the one to get me. We're going to find out. All right, let's do this. And we have Toxic Vapors and EMP Bomb. Uh, these guys are still down here, so we're going to go decap that. It takes a, I've noticed it takes a little longer to kill um, base buildings. Or buildings in general now. Smuggler's winning in six days. So maybe, maybe he finds something here. I don't think so. I think we just grab this and win, though. And rally point. Um, we can rally a bunch of smugglers, uh, a bunch of uh, mercenaries here. Let's take this. Yeah, that almost cost me. I'm, I'm glad it didn't, though. I'm glad we're still in this. So let's get the uh, worm call. Yeah, worm call is good. Peter DeVries, baby. All right, so that's capping. And um, we're threatening this one, which is good. So... As long as we just rally a bunch of units here, I think we're going to be able to hold it. How are we doing on manpower? Oh, like everything. Everything is basically just in the pits right now. But our passive hedge is decent. We're only getting 31 a day. Mm, we didn't manage to defend that with shucks. So let's get a couple of you guys do this and hire some more mercs. The Baron's wallets are definitely bankrolling this. Yeah! We still got it! <laughs> still got it, baby! Let's go! Woo! The space chunk got greedy. He was clutching his pearls at the end. He didn't want to pay taxes and that almost cost him. But man, when you're in that chaos 3v1 situation, just so much comes into play. But um, yeah, that was a really fun one, man. You can see the power of Peter. You know, you get really, really cheap missions and you can spam like toxic vapors. And bullying Vernius was, no was essential because it kept them from assassinating me. If I had just left them to their own devices, they would have been initiating assassinations on me during that point, right? So that was big. Um, anyways, let's view the summary. And yeah, we probably had the, one of the better economies, us and Atreides. But at the end, it, it just went in the pits. Robin was really good, by the way. Glossy was amazing. But um, yeah, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. And uh, yeah, the Baron endures, baby. My desert, my Iraqis.